West End is proud to be a long-standing supporter of sport across all levels in South Australia. From a 68-year partnership with the SANFL, whose Premier's colours now adorn the top of the famous Brickworks kiln each year, to the Adelaide Footy League and Community Football, to the Adelaide Strikers, West End Redbacks and Premier Cricket and many other local sporting competitions and venues throughout the state, West End is synonymous with the sporting landscape in SA. West End, we're still here, in the community, at your local and on the hill. Grieve Property and Project Solutions Proprietary Limited is an Australian-owned and operated business. We strive to provide the highest level of service, quality and integrity and our clients are our priority. We're a business that has grown through word of mouth and repeat business and we are indebted to those clients who have assisted us in expanding to where we are today. We specialise in project management, consultancy, design, shop fitting, commercial fit out, defit and make good, commercial and residential construction and maintenance. Check our website www.grieveprojects.com.au or phone 0400 990 077. Our standard, if we can't provide a solution, we'll find someone who can. Meet at the Mount combines the years of home delivery with the passion and knowledge of your local butcher. Farming the Flurio since 1841 and it shows when you taste the quality of hand-picked meat and produce available. Meat at the Mount can deliver your meat, dairy, eggs, fruit and veg straight to your door. They've recently included kangaroo and rolled oats for those looking a healthy option on the cold mornings. Delivering to Adelaide, the Flurio, Mount Barker, Tuesday to Saturday. One time offer, order online at meatatthemount.com.au and use the code SOUTHERN22 to get 500 grams of mints in a stubby holder added to your order for a limited time. Meet at the Mount. Meet and more. Delivered fresh to your door. Summer is just around the corner. It's time to get your air conditioning sorted. Call the one-stop shop. Air Diffusion Agencies.
MFL TV Live, it's time for the A-grade Grand Final here in the Southern Football League. We are broadcasting live today from Flinders University Stadium. And it is the Redella Wine Flyers taking on the Morpher Vale Emus. The Emus coming from fifth on the ladder in the minor round, getting through the elimination final, the first semi-final. And last weekend, the preliminary final in a low-scoring affair against Norlunga. Redella did it the easy way. They finished top of the ladder. Won the second semi-final straight in. A couple of weeks off along the way for them. Both sides looking to break a premiership drought with Ranella not having won since 2013. More for Vale back in 2009. I think they were undefeated that year. Joining me on the line to go through it all. He's alongside of me, Markle Mantry. How are you, Mark? No worries. Good idea, Jason. This promised me to be a good game, but I'm always worried when teams... I have to come through from the elimination and through. They they can get very tired. We saw that in the AFL last night. I hope it doesn't happen. I hope it's a great game. And I think after last year, I would love to see the Emus get up. Well, we're coming off the back, of course, of a Flagstaff Hill domination in this competition. They won the last six up until now. Uh, they went out earlier on. It was more for Vale that took them out after... Uh, Got a bit of a revenge for the grand final defeat last year. Of course, Morpher Vale were in the grand final last year, went down to that dominant Flagstaff Hill team who went out at the first semi final stage. Um, their wins in the final so far, Morpher Vale, they've got it right at the back end of the year. They won by seven goals in the elimination final against Happy Valley, then knocked out the all conquering Flagstaff Hill, and then did likewise to the Shoes last week. And of course, the Shoes just won the reserves grand final there against the Wine Flyers. Both teams are in their final huddles now before they head out to position. So what we make of that, I don't know. Uh, one thing we do know is they're not unbeatable, Ranella. They've lost three times this year already and finished top of the ladder. Uh, more for Vale. They will go into this game in chock full of confidence. Why wouldn't you? You've won three finals on the trot to get here, Mark. So they've beaten everyone else in the comp there is to beat except Ranella. Oh. That's their task today. That, that is a huge task. It might sound easy. But it's going to be a huge task to try to beat the all-conquering wine flies. There are some quality players for both sides. They're shaking hands and heading to position. Looking forward to it. Uh, I think we've got the male medalist out here, and we'll talk more about that a little bit later on in the program. Uh, Liam Corry for Morpher Vale was third in the male medal. I think he polled 15 votes as well. So uh, we're going to have a cracking game of football. We're in the middle of uh, Flinders University Stadium. Players are in position now. Have a look at the centre square and see who's manning up on who. Ruck's about to go at it. The big blonde locks of Cameron McGree. Couldn't quite get his hand to it. Umpire calls play on. And I think we're going to have a secondary ball up here as stacks on once more. A tough start as you would have expected. It's moved about two metres away. Long locks of McGree. Props himself in front. Almost gets a tap. In fact, he took it out of the ruck and kicked it forward. Kicked it oh, forward. Oh, good take. Beautiful sliding mark there. Taken. And now they go forward. The wine flies first attacking 4A. Oh. Mark taken by the big fella. The, the uh, Cox lookalike. It really is. Except he hasn't got the glasses on for Ranella. That's our man, Borholm. Even at the USA chant going up. Here he comes. Looks like Mason Cox. Will he kick like him, Mark? About to find out. And there's the first. West End is proud to be a long-standing supporter of sport across all levels in South Australia. From a 68-year partnership with the SANFL, whose Premier's colours now adorn the top of the famous Brickworks kiln each year, to the Adelaide Footy League and community football, to the Adelaide Strikers, West End Redbacks and Premier Cricket and many other local sporting competitions and venues throughout the state. 
West End is synonymous with the sporting landscape and SA. West End, we're still here, in the community, at your local and on the hill. MFL TV live, back in the middle. Baker's in the middle for more for Vale. I'll need to, him to get his hands on it. Roundtree's got the job there. Rucks go at it. Spills out. More for Vale now. They go forward for the first time. Era comes across. He'll get his hands to this. Will he know he backed off? Waited for his teammates to get it out the back. He eventually gets his hands on it. Gets a handball now. Smothered. Smart, oh, great smother. Almost over the boundary Ooh. line. Oh, swinging arm. Oh, oh in they come. Boy. It's on already, isn't it? Boy, Baker is Baker's just... Baker's just come in and nailed him. Bradley Thompson, slow to get up. Don't know where the footy is. Copped a swinging forearm. Let alone the footy. I don't know where he is. You'd expect it to be tough early, and that was as tough as it gets. Byman stood the mark. It's over the top. The big Ruckman gets his hands to it. Oh, takes well the mark. done. McGree. Oh, he's a Ruckman. He's tried to dodge, weave in the he's end. Gone. No, he managed to get a nah, handball out, but the gone. umpire said not in time. Wow. He got a handball out in the end, but uh, Souter had uh, wrapped him up. Goes forward, finds a teammate. He'll swing around now. Williams. Here's Williams. Williams' eyes dart around. He goes up. The ball swings away in the air. And it going out of bounds. It'll be a throw in, is it? No, it'll be a relieving free kick here to Ranella. This has started off really tough, hard footy. Here we go. What's he paid this time? A throw. That'll be a free kick here to Ranella. Just a nice little dart. Look at that. Picked up. Oh. Huge tackle. What's he going to pay? He's circling. No, he said keep it going. This time. Now Pye will come in and ball it up. McGree has started the grand final inspired for Ranella. He'll go up in the ruck again here. Gets his hand to that one. Finds a Great teammate. tap. Beautiful tap. Kicks it forward now. Coming up, the Mickey Guyer look-alike. Bit of a throwback for everyone here. He followed Collingwood back in the 80s. It was Marshman, Bailey Marshman. Spilled out over the boundary line in front of a teammate there in McLean, and it'll be tossed in. Just forward of centre wing for Rinella, kicking to the southern end in this first quarter. Terrible throw-in from the uh, boundary umpire. The umpire lets it go. Missed the Ruckman completely. Oh, well done. Dodging, that was weaving. good stuff there by Soda. It was. Uh, Irig comes back Era. with the flight of it. Gets a little handball out. Little kick forward there for uh, the crew was Nick Dixon. Dixon found a teammate. Now they're off. Look at him go. Ranella kick long down the wing. Or oh, missed a teammate there. There's a couple of uh, emu boys, but chopped off. Turned it over. Now they're in some strife. Turned around in defence the other way. It's a foot race. Comes out. And good little handball at the foot of... The big fella there in Marshman, who got a snap on goal. It's in the hot spot oh, now. Gone. Good tackle. On the gone. Ball. Just took a, uh, an extra second too long. Boy, oh boy. That was Mardigan who was caught red-handed. Just a second slow he was, and that's all you need to be in a grand final. Ranella looking for their second. The Wine Flyers. It's a fast start for the Wine Flyers. They go to two straight on the Murray Valley Shed scoreboard. Meet at the Mount combines the years of home delivery with the passion and knowledge of your local butcher. Farming the Flurio since 1841 and it shows when you taste the quality of hand-picked meat and produce available. Meet at the Mount can deliver your meat, dairy, eggs, fruit and veg straight to your door. They've recently included Kangaroo Island rolled oats for those looking a healthy option on the cold mornings. Delivering to Adelaide, the Flurio, Mount Barker, Tuesday to Saturday. One time offer, order online at meetatthemount.com.au and use the code SOUTHERN22 to get 500 grams of mints in a stubby holder added to your order for a limited time. Meet at the Mount. Meet and more. Delivered fresh to your door.
MFL TV live, and we're away now. Morpher Vale looking to go forward for their first score, and it's chopped off. Ranella now across the ground. Frisbee trying to get hold of it. He's got some room. Goes inboard now. Not sure about the wisdom of that kick. Chopped off. Umpire will pay a chopping free kick. And the Emus. Bradley, it was uh, Hartwig who was camped underneath it. Uses the left foot. Goes long into the forward pocket. Will they get a touch on it before it goes over? Baker does well. It wasn't Baker. Igerson, of course, the man who patrols the forward line for the Emus. He'll be hoping to go one better than last season. That was a great lead there, wasn't it? Marshman worked hard to get on the end of this he one. He really did. The honest, the leader, the man who came up to meet him but kicked it over his head. A bit of a skill error there, and in the end, they just escort it over the boundary line through Farley. Numbers getting around the footy again. Bode up against McGree. Bode gets the win, uh, the tap down on that occasion. Dodging, weaving, a little kick out of there over his shoulder from Souter. He was excellent a couple of weeks ago against Morph uh, against Flagstaff Hill. Apologies. That's escorted over the boundary line in the end there by Bymans. They've moved it to half forward. I like Souter. He's a good footballer. Yeah, he's a good player. Runs in straight lines, uses the ball okay. McGree and Bode. McGree again takes it out of the ruck, kicks it straight up and uh, pretty much out on the full. In front of Marshman who came up and will stand the mark. Baker for the Emus. Oh, that was a bit rough on Baker, but he's called play on. Up they go. Oh, oh the fell. big ruckman. He has started this so, so well. McGee. McGree, is it? McGree it is. McGree it is. Bymans can't pick it up. He's running along with it and escorts that over the boundary line as well. Then he Bymans had a couple of uh, opportunities to pick that up in some space. Couldn't do it. Just a bit fumbly early, the Emus. Ranella have started the more composed of the two teams. Hence their two-goal lead. Tossed in. McGree wins that down. There's four of them there. Tossed. Ball comes down. Comes off the back of his heel. Tries to get through. Big tackle there by the Ranella player. Goes right up now. It's equally two on two. Oh, great air pass. Here we go. Going down here, the Mason Cox look-alike. Ball Ooh. goes out, and it'll be tossed in in the forward pocket. What's he, oh, I thought he was going to pay a free kick there. It's over the boundary line. It'll be tossed in forward pocket about 30 metres around, 20 metres around, in fact, from the Ranella goal. About to be tossed in. Rucks go at it. Borholm doing a bit of ruck work there. Couldn't get hold of it. Oh, I reckon oh, he's got a core ball. Just about, not Almost. quite. Almost. Tossed up here. Danger, danger for the Emus. They're already two goals adrift. Flashing through there. They're getting on the move around that these about stoppages. That's full, though. And the wine flies will have another go inside while the ball's out. Well, just, the, just for the listeners, I'll let you know that the B-grade best on ground <laughs> was Matthew Fry of Nolunga. And he had a great game. Here we go. Here's the wine flies. They drive it right in there. Into the teeth of goal. Up high. Almost taken by the Ranella player. Trying to bust out there was the emus. And the umpire will come in and ball it up. Clarkson wrapped up quickly. It's about to be tossed up. Bode going at it against McGree. Give that to probably McGree. But taking it out of there was Souter. And now the uh, the Emus look to go along forward. Oh, Got a great couple out over work. the back here. It was into some space. Oh, straight in his back. Ah, uh, I thought it was more on the side. Iderson 
Ball out of play, just half forward side of centre wing for Morford Vale. The Emus had to do do any real attacking. Gree bounced at his feet. Bode wraps him up immediately. Souter couldn't get hold of it. Tapped out now. Renella, little shimmy there, does the trick. That was beautiful work from Frisby. Goes forward now, wrapped up straight away. Big, and a tackle. Tackle. big tackle there from the uh, the big red-headed Connor Gilby. Didn't result in a stoppage, though. Probably should have. He could have been uh, rewarded for that. But Mark taken. Ranella now look to go forward from Semple. He kicks it to the top oh, of the goal good square. Tag. There he is again. Oh, that's Marshman. They've got some big, tall boys up forward, and they're going to be hard to deal with all day. Marshman clunked that one. Boy, good strong hands, Mark. Extremely. We're right behind this. Let's just see what he does. Right in goal post. Don't give the goals away. Ooh, Look at that. He swung Lovely. Back beautifully. Straight through the middle. That's their third. Ranella in complete control early on the Murray Valley Shed scoreboard. Three straight. More for value to score. Summer is just around the corner. It's time to get your air conditioning sorted. Call the one stop shop, Air Diffusion Agencies. Air conditioning components, copper and fittings, flexible duct. Aluminium grills, spare parts and more. ADA are proudly family owned since 1989. Five big locations, Lonsdale, Salisbury, Darwin, Brisbane. Or see us at 99 to 109 Frederick Street, Welland. Phone 08 8116 3600. Serving you for over 30 years. Proudly supporting Southern Football League. MFL TV Live. Oh, the big Ruckman McGree follows up his work. He just about ate him. Oh, boy. He was like a Pac-Man, wasn't he? Oh, he pretty much treated Del Santo like he was a backpack. <laughs> he is inspired today, the big fella McGree. That's what you want out of your Ruckman. He's going That's too beautifully. high. Was too high. Round tree, just a little bit uh, exuberant in the tackle. And uh, picking himself up with a sore head is Corey, third in the male medal count this year. Out on the left boot, couldn't find a teammate there. Coming up, McGree oh, just picks pick it up, up on the one end. Thank you very much. He can do it all, this big fellow. Kicks it out now to a teammate, all flashing through there, back the other way. Now we've got a scrap for it on centre wing on the uh, grandstand side, right in front of uh, the dugout there where the umpires get organised. Era crashed into a teammate. Oh, look at the tackle, this big is tackle. Tough, isn't it? Oh, gee whiz. They're matching them for toughness, but not for cleanliness at the moment. Gets up holding his head at the base of that pack. Who is it? Ponytailed one there for Ranella. Uh, that is Scotland. The Brave. Umpire says, give it back to me. Just a quick score on River Murray footy. Imperials are 117. Leading Jervo is one point. We'll get a great Southern score as soon as we can. Here they go once again. Tough in there, and the ball umpire will come in and ball it up. Carpenter, the only man wearing long sleeves on the ground today for the Emus. Ira comes back with it. Just a bit fumbly there. A little kick out from the wingman in, uh, that was Frisbee. Back in now, there's ping-ponging around in there. Lots of pressure from both sides. Threw in a little kick forward there from Roundtree. There's a man on, Marshman. Gets a handball across. His Marshman's been everywhere early. Looks to go to a teammate now. Comes up to meet it. Well done defensively there. Full chested. Up he came, Clarkson. Comes out the back now. Marshman's going to get another kick smothered on this occasion. The big fella McGree trying to work below his knees. That's a big ask. Coming through there, Corey again. And they work it out more for Vale. Now they've turned it over, unfortunately, yeah, for the Emus. Yeah. Wirra, era, sorry. And taking the mark there, Mark, was uh, Bradley Port Potter. Here's Potter. Goes in looking for that big guy. Comes off hands. The umpire will come in and ball it up. This has been a tough start. And it's about right. I think it's probably about a three-goal breeze. That's going towards that southern end. 
Almost didn't have it to the wine fly player. But the umpires come in and he'll ball it up once again. We've gone just on 16 and a half minutes here of the first term. Warholm and Bode on that occasion. Bode muscled him out of the way. Umpire's got a free kick here. He said holding the ball. Big tackle there laid by Potter. who's getting involved. Potter kicks it to the hot spot about 20 metres out. Oh, big spoil through the uh, the front of that pack there. Uh, number 21 for uh, the Morpher Vale crew, Schindler Taylor. Now we've got a foot race out here on the wing. Uh, umpire says free kick downfield. Now it's going back. Defensive 50. And they're just looking to keep possession now. Corey again, who's been prominent early for the Emus. Tries to find a target, couldn't. Here we go. This is the first time they've been into attack. The ball just drifts away, and that's what we've seen all day long. In that pocket, it's been almost impossible. Carpenter it was with the flying shot at goal. Couldn't register a score. Big thump over the back. Here goes Ranella. Up here, right in front of us. And a big tackle. It'll be out of bounds here. I think Mardigan looks better when he's up on the ball, more closer up there. He's been a bit risky in that last line. He's going with Semple. Tossed in, got a change there in the ruck. Coming in there was uh, Schrimmer. Oh, how'd he get through there? They go Marshman, makes him earn it. Boy, that's a good free kick to give away. If you're going to take that mark, you're going to have to earn it, son. Yeah, just let him know, hey, I'm coming. It's down the line now in a one-on-one -on -one contest. Off hands over the back. Renella wouldn't have liked that, but they had coverage back there. Eventually, they'll get it over the boundary line, and it will be tossed in. Liam Reid doing the work, marshalling it over the line, and he will trot back to uh, the defensive area there alongside Daniel Noble. Bode just wrestled away from the drop of the ball and gets through untouched out to the back of that stoppage. Umpires is holding the ball on Corey, who's a bit sore. He was a bit unlucky there, I think. Bruce, uh, you're not Bruce. Bruce is up on the we're camera. We all look the same here. And Pretty the, much we do. You're we right. all do. Michael Mantry is the legend, the man, the myth, the legend, alongside of me. Bruce on the camera at the moment. You'll hear from him in the second quarter. Now, along they go. They go Turnover. one on one. There should be a free oh. kick there to Morford Vale. No, it wasn't. Gee whiz. They got away with one there. I think you're right, Mark. I really thought that was over the shoulder. Here we go. This is that man, Mart again. I said he should be better up here. Here we go. Oh, great little take there by Bymans. Bymans now squares it up. That's a beautifully penetrating kick over the back, but no one was over the back for the Emus. It's been just kicked straight up in the air in defence. Now the cavalry arrive. Most of the cavalry belongs to the black and white, though, of Ranella. Here we go. Here's a shot. Fighting hard. Souter. He kicks. A what point. A score. Their That's first, the, their their first, first score. score. First score of the day. They go to 1.1. Trailing the wine flies three straight 18. Oh, I just, just can't get into it at the moment for the emus. They drive the ball out at the half back line. Here we go. Morford Vale coming once again. A huge tackle. Well, unrewarded, too. Well, although you now the boundary umpire is getting involved. Corey Mills Richardson there, who has been brilliant all final series. Era pointing, directing, leading, as he has all season long for the Wine Flyers. What's happened there? He kicked out of the ruck. Here we go. Oh, oh. he's dropped it. And this will go out of bounds. Yes, it will. 
was Hero clearing kick. He tried to banana rama that. Didn't quite happen. And in the end, taking the resulting free kick now will be Shinla Taylor. Here's Taylor. He has to drive this ball long. Drives it up in there. Look at that ball. It just, this is what happened all day. It's just been taken away like that. It floats around like a balloon. That one at least hung on and they'll get a boundary throw in. So no damage really done. They're deep in their forward half now. Probably once it gets tossed in, it'll be about 30 metres out. Good throw in for the boundary umpire. Lands on top of the ruckers' head. Here's a ping. Worked out of defence for the wine flies. Marshman's going to stand underneath this one. The ruckman, McGree. He's got a runner alongside of him, and they're away now. Looking to go inboard, but Bode sensed the danger. Turned around at the right opportunity and took the, the uh, defensive mark. He goes long down the line, almost kicks it to his opposite number, McGree, who worked underneath the footy, smashed away in defence. Big spoil. Reach out, you nearly got a touch, Mark. Almost. Been a long time since I've had a stat. Wine flies are bringing one extra up to the stoppage at the moment, by the looks of it. Emus have matched them there. The front of that stoppage, unmarked, was Dal Sando. He couldn't get his hands to it, though. Now he oh, does. Oh, well taken. There he goes. Bananas that inside Ford 50. It's a mongrel nothing sort of kick. Era uses some fancy footwork, but gives it That's straight gone. to Bymans. Bymans gets oh. wrapped up immediately. Doesn't like the treatment either, and it's on here at half forward. Bymans have lashed out. There's a man there from the Wineflies at the bottom. He copped a nice little old backhander. That was Farley. Oh, that'll be a free kick in the back, no. surely. No. Umpire swallowed the whistle. I don't mind that. Grand yeah, final day. Long as they're consistent, it's fine. Desperation from both sides. Coming through there, sliding in, was uh, that a mark? No, no, it was, uh, give it to me, boys, we'll toss it up. There is the siren for quarter time, an enthralling opening term, which saw the wine flies on top pretty well early before Morfa Vale were able to level things up in terms of control of the footy. But on the scoreboard, it's the wine flies, three straight, 18, leading Morfa Vale, one behind quarter time here at Flinders University Stadium. We'll be back shortly to wrap that quarter up and have a look at what's coming up in the second term. It's MFL TV Live. Summer is just around the corner. It's time to get your air conditioning sorted. Call the one-stop shop, Air Diffusion Agencies. Air conditioning components, copper and fittings, flexible duct, aluminium grills, spare parts and more. ADA are proudly family-owned since 1989. Five big locations, Lonsdale, Salisbury, Darwin, Brisbane. Or see us at 99 to 109 Frederick Street, Welland. Phone 08 3600. Serving you for over 30 years. Proudly supporting Southern Football League. It's funny how my car always gets left out in the sun. You know what I need? A new shed. From carports, sheds, verandas. No job is too big or too small. Industrial, domestic and commercial. From plans footings to shed instalment, he can even organise the concrete too. From the hills to Murray Land and out in the Mallee, from farm and rural sheds, commercial and industrial sheds, colour bond sheds, cyclone rated sheds, with over 15 years experience, call Wayne today for a free measure and quote. Don't muck it, call Wayne Luckett. 0417 852 032. Builders licence 243 895. What does farming and the BT50 have in common? They are both reborn and built from the ground up. Perfect for the man on the land or that adventure, the BT50 is available at Duddon's Murray Lands. Duddon's are a 70-year-old, third-generation, family-owned, multi-franchise dealer that you can trust. Now with Ford, so check out their Everest. Duddon's are your 4x4 and SUV specialists. Visit either of their two Murray Bridge dealerships or visit duddon's.com.au for more information. Duddon's, easy to do business with. Do you need your driveway exposed with some awesome squares? Time to call a team from Carstairs. From shared floors, driveways or your footpath, call the guys at Carstairs Concrete Services. They've got the staff. Brighten that entertaining area with some colour. Call Carstairs. There is no other. From foundations to a fence post, no job is too big or too small. It's time to give the professionals Carstairs a call. Phone 0401 009 886. Carstairs Concrete Services. 
our guarantee is set in concrete. Yo, looking for the big orange sign? You'll find it at number 39. It's Fishers. It's Fishers. Can't wait to drive my new used car. Service and finance the best by far. It's Fishers. It's Fishers. Drop in and see Alex or Rick. They've got the used car that'll do the trick. It's Fishers. It's Fishers. Service detailed, ready to go. You'll find them at 39 Adelaide Road. It's Fishers. It's Fishers. A name you can trust with no fears because they've been serving you for over 60 years. It's Fishers. Phone 853-22500. Do you want to add a little magic to your flooring and window furnishings? At Solomon's, we have a huge range of carpet and hard flooring options, blinds and shutters, and our fantastic made-to-measure curtains too. We've got all the latest trends at magical Solomon's prices. And don't forget to ask about our shop at home service too. So to really transform your home, remember, there's magic in a Solomon's floor. And there's magic in a Solomon's store. Thinking Insurance, an MGA insurance group broker, can save you time, money and stress. Whether it's business, farm, crop, professional or private insurance, MGA provides advice and assistance to make sure you're properly protected. And when claims arise, MGA works for you to ensure that you get your full entitlement. Your local MGA insurance group broker is a specialist in insurance and risk management. Give them a call today and put MGA to work for you. Contact Bianca in Pinaroo 0411 389. Hey. MFL TV live, live from Flinders University Stadium. It is quarter time, Renella 3 straight 18, Morford Vale 1 behind. Uh, Morford Vale will get an opportunity to go with this breeze, which I think is straightened up a touch. So it's uh, probably going from pocket to pocket now rather than flank to flank. Genuine advantage for the Emus in this term. McGree, who's been excellent in the ruck so far for the Wine Flyers. He's been more than excellent, Dad, so he's been he dominant. Been, he has been. Big Bruce was uh, out in the middle. He's had to pop into the commentary box, let Mark have a spell, and Bruce has been out there uh, having a, a look at the uh, the huddles, so we'll get him in in a tick. Ball's tossed up. Bode goes over his head, spills down now. Coming out the back there, flashing through. Oh, there is the uh, the big fella there in Del Santo. He's wrapped him up. Well done, Del Santo. We'll have a secondary ball up. Man at the bottom of the pack there. Uh, last man up was White Bread. I believe he's the male medalist this year. 21 votes in the male medal count. Era flashing through. Now they're away. The Wine Flyers direct path to goal. Great mark taken. Fantastic diving effort there from Semple. Not a thing that Hardigan could do about that. Mardigan, sorry. Not a thing. Magnificent kick from Ira. Beautiful lead from Semple. Great mark. Now, what's he going to do here? No, I think he's going to go around the corner there for a moment. Bruce Phillips has just come back in from the middle of the ground. And whilst uh, Semple lines this up, Bruce, you were at the Morford Vale huddle there at quarter time. What were they saying? Well, he just wants the players to, uh, you know, get that ball forward at all costs and uh, got to compete and put some pressure on them. Some scoreboard pressure, importantly. And uh, that's been driven in. Good spoil. Crummers at the front uh, with the Emus. Kick it out of there. Don't quite clear it out of 50. Good soccer away there by Ranella. Oh, might have got one in the back there. And the umpire says, all oh, OK. And we'll have a ball up. Byman's on Marshman. Two hard nuts there going at it. Marshman's been good. McGree in the ruck. Bode. Give that one to McGree. Oh, he could have got a free kick too. McGree didn't quite. The umpire didn't see the grab of the jumper there. Back up off the bottom of the pack is Visser. Where you'll normally find him. Tossed up Bode and McGree link arms. Mc, uh, McGree there took it out of the ruck again for the third time. Well Mardigan, done. Mardigan it is. He just tumbles it forward. It's a foot race now. 
Let's see who's got the cleanest pair of hands. In the end, it's a one-on-one -on -one battle. You'd see that at training every Wednesday night. It was uh, Malloy against number nine there, and it eventually turns over the other way now. Oh. Ira gets put down after he kicked it. Umpire oh, says that's okay, but there he is mark. again. Marshman. He's everywhere, this big fellow. Yeah, get around. Oh, I like every good full forward there, uh, Jace. Just try and crib about five metres. <laughs> I don't think he's ever having a shot here. He chips it over oh, the good top. Good call. Very good call there, Jace. Yep, just waited his time. And again, look at that. Yep. Square up the angle. Marshman, the ball back in his hands. The one, two. One, yeah, the old one, two by foot on this occasion. And now he's got a much better angle at the goal, but this is still a tough kick, Bruce. It doesn't look it. Yeah, just out to the left a little bit. Probably halfway between the... If you get a bit of air in it, between the... Goal post and the point post. That's about it. And let it come back nicely. There's a goal. Another one to Marshman. West End is proud to be a long-standing supporter of sport across all levels in South Australia. From a 68-year partnership with the SANFL, whose Premier's colours now adorn the top of the famous Brickworks kiln each year, to the Adelaide Footy League and Community Football, to the Adelaide Strikers, West End Redbacks and Premier Cricket and many other local sporting competitions and venues throughout the state, West End is synonymous with the sporting landscape in SA. West End, we're still here, in the community, at your local and on the hill. MFL TV live. McGree wins that one clearly. Gets it down. Follows up his own work, the big fellow. He's best on ground right now. Oh. He's doing it all. What about the kick, Jace? How about that? He's come out of the ruck. Second effort. Picked it up and just slammed it 55 metres and laced out on the full forward. Doesn't get any better than that. Potter it was with silver service. Didn't have to break stride. He kicks this, boy. Going a long way back for Morford Vale. Oh, I tell you what, he ought to go out to McGree and give him a tip because that was very good silver service. And he's got it. Brings it back beautifully. Two in a minute. Grieve Property and Project Solutions Proprietary Limited is an Australian-owned and operated business. We strive to provide the highest level of service, quality and integrity and our clients are our priority. We're a business that has grown through word of mouth and repeat business and we are indebted to those clients who have assisted us in expanding to where we are today. We specialise in project management, consultancy, design, shop fitting, commercial fit out, defit and make good, commercial and residential construction and maintenance. Check our website www.grieveprojects.com.au or phone 0400 990 077. Our standard, if we can't provide a solution, we'll find someone who can. TV live, back in the middle again, repeat ball up. McGree and Bode going at it once more, smashed out of there, Del Santo. Found a teammate, now finally the uh, Emus get to go forward. Off the pack, over the back. Will he be able to pick it up? No, little hack off the ground. Eric gets back. In the oh. end, it smashed through, went through hands, through for one behind. I don't know whether anyone touched that, Jace. It was brilliantly improvised with a soccer off the ground. Flying. Oh, I think if it had gone through, it was going to be a goal. It's a reverse snap kick of sorts. Unlucky. Kicked out. And play on the umpire says, rightly so, didn't quite mark it. Up to half foot, half back, and another good. Oh. Gee, they're taking some good overhead marks, Ranella. Marshman's just too good at the moment. They need to make a change there. Chips it up the centre wing in front of a big crowd underneath the uh, establishment there, selling a few hot pies, and there's some hot magpies out there at the moment. Well, they call them the wine flies, but uh, same colours. And here we go, just possession footy. Look at this, possession footy again, just running it up that uh, clubroom house wing. And this is really smart coaching. And... This time, going with a long kick right down the line. Up there. Oh, good mark. Oh, the umpire says didn't pay it. Oh, boy. Play on. It's tough out there. In with the umpires. And it should, in fact, roll across the line. It does. We'll have a throw in. How'd you see that, Jace? I thought he marked that. Uh, I would have paid it. McGree had a couple of, uh, couple of grabs. The second one was fairly solid. Never mind. Not paid. Tossed in. He's best on ground at the moment. By the length of the Flemington straight. He uh, claims he was held. 
That one went out over the back of the pack. Boat's going to have to lift in that rut contest. And uh, in they go. I wouldn't mind seeing Baker up around the footy at the moment. They need to do something. They need to get some bigger bodies around there because they are getting destroyed around the footy at the moment. It's thrown up. Here he is again, the big fella. He's the one that's doing all of the uh, the hard yakka. That's the way. Just hack it forward at the moment. Uh, coming through there was Souter. Kicked it forward. Era is uh, just loitering around ominously. Oh, Couldn't get hold tackle. of that. Well done. Holding the ball. Well done. Must have, been a, give lack, it back. Must have been a lack of talk out there or uh, didn't hear it. Barrier uh, got wrapped up quickly. That trusty left foot long. They go. Contest. Off hands. Little handball off the top there from McLean. He was clean. Now they managed to go forward again, but only Bode had read that off the boot, and he takes a defensive mark. Yeah, on that half back line, really got to set something up and try and get a goal on the scoreboard. Bit of confidence and get back into this match, but look at it. Just to raffle it down here. Dodger would-be tackler. Chips it into the centre. Couldn't quite get it. Marshman just waited his chance. Kicks it forward. Over the back. It runs another 25 metres. But there's that man who's played so well for uh, Morfitt Vale in the finals. Gil was it Gilby? Mardigan it was. Mardigan. Comes out of there. Really working hard, aren't they, the Emus, to get it out of that defence. Kicks it to the commentary box side. But it's Ranella again. First oh. to the footy. Clash. Bang. Good body work. Gets the kick, but he's turned it over and a good mark taken here by the Emus and uh, Beemans. Yeah, it's Connor Locke. A lock, is it? Connor Locke. Lock. Centre wing. Oh, McGree again. Jeez. Another big pack mark. He's just unstoppable at the moment. And he's on centre wing in front of our commentary box. And he goes long. Got a nice kick on him too for a big ruckman this time. Give the mockers on me. He's put it out of pounds. Straight away, Bruce, as soon as you say it. I think the big fella has uh, gone with a bit of a blonde rinse, ready for the GF as well. Knew he was going to be on the camera. The big fella is looking absolutely resplendent there. One of the best dudes you'll see. Goes over his head on this occasion, off hands. Spilled out over the boundary line. McCree licks his lips. He knows he's got another ball up to contest. Well, I think... Uh Morphy's to get back into this. Some of their big names have got to get back into it, get their hands on the footy like uh, the likes of Corey. Um, he's got to start getting a bit of that ball and uh, get it down to that to forward area. Souter, Bymans or Beemans. I'm told it's Beemans. Uh, into that half forward area. Oh, good work down there by Ira. Good backing up. Good tackle. The umpire says holding the ball. And the free kick goes the way of the Emus. Chance here. To go back and put it right into that goal square, Malloy. I reckon he might be just a smidge. Take his best kick, that's for sure. Winds up. Goes out around, starts it out. The breeze gets hold of it. Did it get over the line? It didn't. One behind off hands. He was a metre short, Bruce. Yep. Tough kick from there with the breeze. And as you can see, those trees in the background, they're just about ready to take off like a 747. Chipped out to the grandstand side. Good mark out there. And the umpire says it's out on the full. So something's starting to go right for the Emus in that grandstand pocket. Same one kick from there in the B grade, so not impossible. Kicks it into the goal square. Mark, no, not quite off hands. It's at the top of the goal square now. They fight hard for it. We're going to end up having a, a ball up here, surely. McGree again at the bottom of the pack. You're a ruckman. What are you doing, son? He's a genuine follower, this boy. Yes, well, I was a ruckman Love back it. in the day, and you were taught to get back in that back line, uh, Jason. And uh, I don't mind that. But, uh, he likes it on the ground as well as in the uh, air, the big fella. And he's good. Hands and knees stuff. Out of there. Good mark taken back with the flight of the ball there for uh, the Emus. Taken by Harry Clarkson, who's been one of their best, working up the ground on this occasion. Game we did a couple of weeks ago at Christie's. Absolutely dominated, did McGree, and he's really started off here where he finished there. And uh, from that side, probably, no, he hasn't quite got onto it, but more of a chance. But again, McGree. Look at that. 
just too strong. In the end, uncontested. No one got near him and almost almost could have chested it. Probably just marked it out in front of the chest in the hands. To uh, the back pocket, bit of aerial ping pong. And the ball falls the Ronella's way. I don't even think the ball's liking Morf at Vale too much at the moment. And it'll be a throw in. Excuse me while I get on the phone to, uh, to Jarrett Wright. Need to get a Panthers contract in front of this young McGree. He is a star. Yes, he's certainly got the goods. Up they go. I wouldn't mind seeing him up against my nephew. He just won the male medal over in the uh, Victorian uh, League over there. Up towards full forward. Over the back, and it'll go through for a minor score. Yeah, Ruckman over there, young uh, Tyler. And uh, he just picked up the, uh, is it the Heathcote District Football League in Victoria with uh, Lockington Bermorn. And uh, big, strong Ruckman like McGree. And uh, he's got back-to-back -back medals. Real talent. Taught him everything he knows, Jace. Up I'm towards the sure. uh, wing. In there they go, the Free Morphies. Kick, surely. And it's oh, going to be holding the, the ball. ball. Well, he missed the first one because he was genuinely collected in the head. That'll be 25. When you've got it, you've got to give it back. Byman's a couple of mistakes back to back there, but I think he's a touch unlucky. Should have probably got a free kick for high. Yeah, you don't have to be dead to be stiff, as they say. And uh, a long kick in there towards the full forward area. Up they fly. No one can take the mark. Again, the crumbs into Ranella's hands, but good defending by the Emus back there on that last line of defence. You know, amongst them there was uh, Ranella's uh, round tree. Ball at ground level. Oh, could have been high. And the umpire says no. Another ball up. Tossed up again. Bode can't, just can't get to front position at the moment. Gonna have to have a look at how early he prepares himself for these ruck contests. I just think sometimes he's a bit late in his preparation. Allows the other ruckman to get set ahead of him. He tossed in. Fifteen metres around from the right hand behind post. Again, Bode second to the footy there. And the Borholm it was that's doing the ruck work when it's forward of centre. Or would he see taken high there? The umpire was in the right spot to see it. I think he was getting giving him the benefit of the doubt there. He was down low. Yeah, it could have gone either way, couldn't it? Tossed up, boat again behind. We see that all day long, and you're he's a shorter ruckman. Borholm complains that he was ripped off the footy. Bode finally gets into front position on that occasion and just gets shoved out of the way. Big Borholm's kick was smothered. Now they look to work it out, the Emus, but uh, that's a, a nice tackle there wrapped up. That was the uh, Corey Mills Richardson. He's been quiet so far. Shermer and Ruck taps it down. Oh, bust through the pack. Holding the ball, surely. It is. And Morphys have got the free kick on the half-back line. They've got to try and make something of this. They've held Ranella in this last 10 minutes up towards half forward and a good mark taken here for the Emus by uh, Isaacson. Drives it up towards the full forward, but that's been the story of the day. Poor disposal, out of bounds, last off. Robert Erie just can't give it up like that. Might have been his first touch for the day, I think. Erie now goes as long as he can. That'll get over the back. Baker rated best but couldn't take the mark. And scoring a try in the end there. Oh, he throws the ball back at Baker as well. Says, what are you doing? Over the top. Frisbee wasn't happy with the treatment. Threw it back like a Frisbee. And hit Baker right in the middle of the four. Yeah, well, could have almost uh, given away the free kick, couldn't he? Yeah. Tossed in. All short. Running through there. Oh, just putting the Jets on Bymans in the end. Kicks the banana rama, gets past Ira, who gets back in a hurry, dives around. Look at him go, Ira. He's like a bulldog with a bone. Oh, lovely bump. Cleared a path. There's a man in trouble for Morford Vale out the back. He copped uh, a hip in the rib cage. And he's okay in the end, Corey Mills Richardson, but he felt that. Oh, yeah, he's just got up a bit proppy. 
And he's just heading for the, uh, might be heading for the interchange bench now. Right now he's feeling that chase. I think he's a bit sore than we thought. Yeah, he, uh, he struggled a little bit. He felt straight away for that rib cage. Or is it maybe a, is it a blood rule? Might be a blood rule. As well, perhaps. Anyway, he's going off and one off for blood, one on for an interchange. Umpire awaits that man to get round the contest. Got a feel for Bode. Undersized Ruckman all day long against three or four options that Ranella possess. And he loses that one again. And here go the wine flies. They're away now. Look at this chain of handballs. One, two, three. Little kick down the line. Two on with McGree. Oh. Here he is again. He can't be stopped, this man. Sign the footy. Drives it into the hole. No one home there for uh, Morphy's. Quick kick by Ranella into that full forward area. And good defending by the Emus to drive it out. Oh, the player that was going yeah, to yeah, the player that was gonna go for it ended up bumping the umpire. <laughs> he probably thought it was an opponent. Kicked around the body there by uh, Frisbee. And they've just got uh, all the answers here at the moment, uh, Ranella. Chipped over and uh, that is the big fella in Marshman. What about that from Frisbee with the one hand? Just dances around Marshman now. Long kick. Goal square, ball home up, couldn't oh, take it. Didn't umpires matter. paid it. Didn't matter. Ballholm couldn't take it, but his mate did. And this is uh is it white bread? Uh wit bread. Wit bread. I think he was the male medalist, wasn't he? No, no, this is uh, simple. Sorry, Callum Simple. Yes, yeah, so they've just got too many answers at the moment, Ranella. They are doing it comfortably. And that one makes it very comfortable. Another goal to the Wine Flies. They kick their sixth. Meet at the Mow combines the years of home delivery with the passion and knowledge of your local butcher. Farming the Flurio since 1841 and it shows when you taste the quality of hand-picked meat and produce available. Meet at the Mount can deliver your meat, dairy, eggs, fruit and veg straight to your door. They've recently included Kangaroo Island rolled oats for those looking a healthy option on the cold mornings. Delivering to Adelaide, the Flurio, Mount Barker, Tuesday to Saturday. One time offer, order online at meetatthemount.com.au and use the code SOUTHERN22 to get 500 grams of mints in a stubby holder added to your order for a limited time. Meet at the Mount. Meet and more. Delivered fresh to your door. MFL TV live. Morford Vale in real trouble. Four behinds. <laughs> Not sure what happened there. Um, oh, Era was just like the rubber man then, wasn't he? He was. He, uh, look at that. Speaking of the rubber man, dodging, weaving, if you don't mind. Scotland, the brave, touched over the boundary line. Tossed that thing in. Brave, put a lovely little step on. And a lot of uh, giddy up around the uh, the wine flyers, really backing each other and uh, supporting each other and high fiving each other. They really are come here to play. They can feel the urgency Corey. back in around this contest. Sorry, Jace. All right, yeah, Corey just can't get into it at the moment. The big fella there, Connor Gilby, um, loitering around with his fiery red hair. Kiss by fire, number thirty-two. Goes into it in the ruck, couldn't get his hand to it on that occasion. It came back to him fortuitously. He says, look at me, umpire, I'm trying to handball it. Rubbish. As we said before, it's guys like Beemans and uh, Carpenter and uh, Corey that have got to get them back into this match. Souter. And that one's Ooh. out of bounds. Oh, Ira didn't like that at all. Nice shove. He just gave him a shove into the fence, didn't he? He could have nearly lost the free kick against. That was uh, Malloy. And... No damage done, luckily, either way. Scotland with the top knot. Not convinced about the top knot, but regardless, he's a tough one, this boy. Oh, he tried to back into the pack to get his hands free. Bad news. If you don't get rid of that, you're in trouble. Carpenter fights for it on the deck. 226 is going at it there. No, that was a 36. Coming up off the bottom of the pack was McLean. I reckon you could even see this game get a bit physical, Jace. Well, they need to do something. And another good tackle on uh, Era. He's just dominating that position. They run away with it too easy to Era again. He'll have to get rid of it or he'll be in trouble. Handballs it away, but he's just got players there to mop up. Front spot here with uh, the Emus. 
Chance here, got some numbers around the contest. Quick kick out of there. Back towards Souter, uses his body well. Oh. Got a chance here to have a shot at goal. Should really finish from there. And good pressure. He's pushed it well wide and missed a lot. And that's how about how their day is going, Jace. Pretty much. Uh, Ranella doing everything right. I mean, even the chase there just forced a little bit of extra pressure on the kick. Tossed in now. Well, at full speed with that wind, it's making it difficult with the trajectory, isn't it? Almost impossible task. Sauer was wrapped up before he could get a foot to it. And we'll have a ball up about 30 metres out from the Morford Vale goal. Whack. Just smashed it forward there, Shermer. In the white wheels. Coming through there again, McGree, who, when he's not rucking, he's a kick behind the play, and he's a threat at every opportunity. Whenever the ball comes his way, look out. Pius says, I'll toss it in. What's McGree going to do here? He's going to take this ruck contest. He's going to kick behind the play again. Tap that over the back. Didn't quite work. Yeah, it's going to be... Uh just a great wall of China, isn't it? He's uh, just in sensational form. Tapped away. Here he is again, McGree. He'll get the crumbs here. Look at this, straight oh. through. And wrapped up. And the umpire's letting it go, but now he blows the whistle and says, my ball on half back. A genuine trotted centre forward at the moment, uh, I think we could say. He's Playing the old-fashioned kick behind the play. but uh, And then we've got a free kick here to uh, the big redhead, Connor Gilby. Forward they go. Inside 50, terrible kick. Good defensive mark. Well, you've got the breeze behind you there, Jace. Why wouldn't you go back and drive it in long to the teeth of the square? Well, you probably would. One-on-one, um, -on -one. Souter was down there. At least give yourself a chance, but Dixon takes the sh uh, the mark and shallow inside 50 amounts to nothing. Gray fights for it on the ground. Madigan wraps up that man for Ranella there in Boyd, and we'll have a ball up. Six goal plays, four points on the Murray Valley Shed scoreboard. And once again, it's a tight tussle. And one of the uh, emu there got to tossed out. That was Corrie. Went out of there like the uh, the mouldy sandwich in the lunchbox. Tap down here. Chance for the emus to put something on the board. But again, the defensive work by Ranella is too good. Bottled up for halftime, siren time. And at halftime... Six straight, 36. That is good kicking in these conditions. And Morfitt Vale on four points for the Murray Valley Shed scoreboard. Jace, quickly, best players in that first half. Well, take your pick if you're uh, going through the line. Flies, uh, Bailey Marshman's been sensational. Uh, enjoyed his game. Whitebread's been around the mark too. Bradley Potter up forward has presented. Callan Semple has presented beautifully as well. Borholm's done some nice things up forward. Uh, Nick Dixon's been good. Liam Reed's been good. There hasn't been too many that hasn't. Uh, I've enjoyed Nick McLean's game. He's been clean. But the man of the moment, absolutely, don't forget uh, this man's name, Cameron McGree. He has been a star. For Morford Vale, uh, there's been, uh, well, a few that have had a go. I like Mardigan's game so far. He's been okay. Carpenter's been tough at it. Uh, Del Santo hasn't quite been able to get his hands to it as often as he would like. I've enjoyed Clarkson's game so far. Malloy has been around the mark. Corey started well, faded out in that second quarter, but their best so far has probably been between Brady, uh, Brody Salter, sorry, Brody Salter and Bymans. I would suggest that those two have been their best in the first half. At halftime, Ranella, six straight, 36. Morford Vale, four behinds. The Emus need to get a move on. It is MFL TV Live. Grand Hey, Southern footy. Hope you're enjoying our coverage on the channels of Facebook, YouTube, Vimeo, and, of course, the lovely, gorgeous Susie down there at the Flurio app. G'day, Susie. Hope you're having a great afternoon on MFL TV Live and the around 30,000 followers access to the live stream here today from Southern Football Grand Final. We'll take a break. We'll be back shortly. 
with the halftime roundup around the grounds, brought to you by Dace Irrigation, the Peruna General Store and Tavern, and the Bridge Hotel, right in the heart of the creek. You're watching MFL TV Live. West End is proud to be a long-standing supporter of sport across all levels in South Australia. From a 68-year partnership with the SANFL, whose Premier's colours now adorn the top of the famous Brickworks kiln each year, to the Adelaide Footy League and Community Football, to the Adelaide Strikers, West End Redbacks and Premier Cricket and many other local sporting competitions and venues throughout the state. West End is synonymous with the sporting landscape in SA. West End, we're still here, in the community, at your local and on the hill. Grieve Property and Project Solutions Proprietary Limited is an Australian owned and operated business. We strive to provide the highest level of service, quality and integrity and our clients are our priority. We're a business that has grown through word of mouth and repeat business and we are indebted to those clients who have assisted us in expanding to where we are today. We specialise in project management, consultancy, design, shop fitting, commercial fit out, defit and make good, commercial and residential construction and maintenance. Check our website www.grieveprojects.com.au or phone 0400 990 077. Our standard, if we can't provide a solution, we'll find someone who can. Meat at the Mount combines the years of home delivery with the passion and knowledge of your local butcher. Farming the Fleurio since 1841 and it shows when you taste the quality of hand-picked meat and produce available. Meat at the Mount can deliver your meat, dairy, eggs, fruit and veg straight to your door. They've recently included Kangaroo Island rolled oats for those looking a healthy option on the cold mornings. Delivering to Adelaide, the Fleurio Mount Barker, Tuesday to Saturday. One time offer, order online at meatatthemount.com.au and use the code SOUTHERN22 to get 500 grams of mints in a stubby holder added to your order for a limited time. Meet at the Mount. Meet and more. Delivered fresh to your door. Summer is just around the corner. It's time to get your air conditioning sorted. Call the one-stop shop. Air diffusion agencies. Air conditioning components. Copper and fittings. Flexible duct. Aluminium grills. Spare parts and more. ADA are proudly family owned since 1989. Five big locations, Lonsdale, Salisbury, Darwin, Brisbane. Or see us at 99 to 109 Frederick Street, Welland. Phone 08 8116 3600. Serving you for over 30 years. Proudly supporting Southern Football League. It's funny how my car always gets left out in the sun. You know what I need? A new shed. From carports, sheds, verandas. No job is too big or too small. Industrial, domestic and commercial. From plans footings to shed instalment, he can even organise the concrete too. From the hills to Murray lands and out in the Mallee, from farm and rural sheds, commercial and industrial sheds, Calibon sheds, cyclone rated sheds, with over 15 years experience, call Wayne today for a free measure and quote. Don't muck it, call Wayne Luckett. 0417 852 032. Builder's licence 243 895. What does farming and the BT50 have in common? They are both reborn and built from the ground up. Perfect for the man on the land or that adventure, the BT50 is available at Duddon's Murraylands. Duddon's are a 70 year old, third generation, family owned, multi franchise dealer that you can trust. Now with Ford, so check out their Everest. Duddon's are your 4x4 and SUV specialists. Visit either of their two Murraybridge dealerships or visit duddon's.com.au for more information. Duddon's, easy to do business with. Do you need your driveway exposed with some awesome squares? Time to call a team from Carstairs. From shared floors, driveways or your footpath, call the guys at Carstairs Concrete Services. They've got the staff. Brighten that entertaining area with some colour. Call Carstairs. There is no other. From foundations to a fence post, no job is too big or too small. It's time to give the professionals Carstairs a call. Phone 0401 009 886. Carstairs Concrete Services. Our guarantee is setting concrete. For a better way to buy garden power tools, you'll have to go to your local still specialist. They're experts, so you'll get the tool you need. They'll familiarise you with the tool and get it ready to go. Better still, they can service it too, so it'll last for years. Still Garden Power Tools, only from still specialist stores. Find yours online, better still. Have you got some water to pump, need more rainwater storage, or need more feed for the animals? We've got everything you need in store today. From fire pumps, spray equipment, pool pumps and filters, solar system water pumps, star droppers, gates and generators, PVC fittings and poly pipe to hay, horse supplies, animal needs and anything for the garden. Be sure to come in and see our team here at Dace Irrigation and Fodder for the right advice 
and the best price. Find us at 41 Milnes Road, Strathalbyn, phone 8536 4422 or 151 Adelaide Road, Murray Bridge, phone 8532 2711. When you walk into the Kandapan Hotel, you can tell the staff love what they do. The friendly atmosphere and fast service is evident the moment you walk in the door. Jonesy and Winnie have been operating the Kandapan Hotel nearly four years, but it's the years experience the guys have in hospitality that stands out from the rest. Their wood oven pizzas make your mouth water, and the freshly baked onion bread is to die for. With a range of meals on the chef's menu, it's a choice whether during the week or straight after footy from 6 to 8 for dinner. Knaupen Hotel pride themselves on fresh salads, made on site, fresh, every day. Check out their Facebook page, click on the menu button and view what's hot in the chef's kitchen. With plenty of room for group functions or birthdays, make Knaupen a place to stay and relax at the Knaupen Hotel, your highway stop that hits the spot. Dukes Highway, Knaupen. Phone... 08-8571-1006. Drop in and get a tinny from Jonesy and Winnie. Is your home your office or your schoolyard? Your gym? Is your home your local, your party venue, your studio or your headquarters? Change your home to suit your life. Don't miss your chance. Find your local real estate office. Around here, we love our Golden Grain. And we love our Golden Grain Hotel. Open from 11am seven days a week. And meals available every night. With theme nights four nights a week. Including burgers, pizza, steaks and Thursday nights a schnitzel night. Grab a feed for $15. Affordable for all the family. There's even a kids menu too. Locals or travellers just coming off the highway into the main street and find the Golden Grain Hotel. And shearers, farmers and spud farmers order your takeaway meals. Check the website for menus, meal specials, accommodation and upcoming events. Golden Grain Hotel, Pinaroo.com. Got a lot of empty bottles and cans cluttering up your garage or backyard? Load all of your empties in the car and get to Murray Bridge Recycling. They'll have you unloaded as quick as a speeding bullet, cashed up in a flash. With depots in Meningi and Strathalbyn too, turn those old bottles and cans into cash now. You can also assist with your waste recycling and document destruction services in the Murraylands, serving you for over 40 years. Murray Bridge Recycling, 55 Thomas Street, phone 08853 be who you want to be. Go where you want to go. It's your journey. Come on down to your local Dunlop Super Dealer and have a friendly chat because nobody knows local roads like us. Bridge Hotel, right in the heart of the creek. Drop in for a coldie after the game. Meals available, 70 Bridge Road, Langons Creek. Phone 08 85 373 010. There is only one way to get your team top of the ladder. Bridge Aluminium. Manufacturing under the brand All Weld. Making platform ladders, orchid tripod ladders, tradie ladders and mezzanine ladders. They also manufacture vehicle canopies, ute trays, toolboxes and perform truck fitouts. Aluminium material sales. Their range is the best. Drop in to 225 Adelaide Road, Murray Bridge. Email sales at bridgealuminium.com.au or phone 8532 5884. Bridge Aluminium. When it comes to ladders, they're the top team. Six and out, old mate. You mean window and out. Mum's gonna kill us. Mum's gonna kill you. No worries. I'll fix it fast. Who you gonna call? Bro Aluminium and Security. Specialising in windows any size. Security doors, Roller shutters, bathroom screens, fly screens, and general window repairs. Call Darren for a free measure and quote. Phone 08 85 321 230. Or visit their showroom at 44 Old Princess Highway East Side, Murray Bridge. Pro Aluminium and Security, where your security is our business. It's time to relax. Breathe in, breathe out. That's the feeling you get from the Soul Deep Massage Clinic, specializing in relaxation, remedial massage, trigger point therapy, and reflexology. With on-the-spot health fund rebates available, phone 85310499. Refresh your mind, body, and soul with the Soul Deep Massage Clinic, 74 Adelaide Road, Murray Bridge.
For over 40 years, Silver Fleece has been making cricket jumpers and vests for the Australian Test Team. You too can hit the field in your very own traditional cable knit jumper, custom designed with your logo and club colours. From their factory in Hindmarsh, Adelaide, Silver Fleece manufacture cricket jumpers and vests from 100% pure Australian wool. For an obligation-free quote and design, give Greg a call on 08 8118 6099. Silver Fleece, 70 years strong, that's some innings. West End is proud to be a long-standing supporter of sport across all levels in South Australia. From a 68-year partnership with the SANFL, whose Premier's colours now adorn the top of the famous Brickworks kiln each year, to the Adelaide Footy League and Community Football, to the Adelaide Strikers, West End Redbacks and Premier Cricket and many other local sporting competitions and venues throughout the state, West End is synonymous with the sporting landscape in SA. West End, we're still here, in the community, at your local and on the hill. Grieve Property and Project Solutions Proprietary Limited is an Australian-owned and operated business. We strive to provide the highest level of service, quality and integrity and our clients are our priority. We're a business that has grown through word of mouth and repeat business and we are indebted to those clients who have assisted us in expanding to where we are today. We specialise in project management, consultancy, design, shop fitting, commercial fit out, defit and make good, commercial and residential construction and maintenance. Check our website www.grieveprojects.com.au or phone 0400 990 077. Our standard, if we can't provide a solution, we'll find someone who can. Meat at the Mount combines the years of home delivery with the passion and knowledge of your local butcher. Farming the Flurio since 1841 and it shows when you taste the quality of hand-picked meat and produce available. Meat at the Mount can deliver your meat, dairy, eggs, fruit and veg straight to your door. They've recently included Kangaroo Island rolled oats for those looking a healthy option on the cold mornings. Delivering to Adelaide, the Flurio, Mount Barker, Tuesday to Saturday. One-time offer, order online at meatatthemount.com.au and use the code SOUTHERN22 to get 500 grams of mints in a stubby holder added to your order for a limited time. Meet at the Mount. Meet and more. Delivered fresh to your door. Summer is just... Oh, welcome back to the home of Flinders University Stadium and the Saturday afternoon scoreboard brought to you by the good guys at Bridge Hotel. Drop in there for a coldie after the game and of course the Peruna General Store. Grab and go. Get in there and get your snacks and grab and go at the Peruna General Store and Tavern. And, of course, the wonderful team at Daish Irrigation, long-term partners here at MFL TV. And they've got two stores, Milnes Road, Strathalbyn and Adelaide Road, Murray Bridge. Let's take a look around the grounds in community footy. And half-time scores, York Peninsula Munter 6-3 versus the CMS Crows 2-3. So the boys from the River Murray there, Matt Altman and Kieran Yakis doing quite well for Munter. The Southern uh, League, Ranella here, six straight goals. Great kicking to Flagstaff, Hill four points. In the Northern Areas, quarter time, Broughton Mundura holding all the aces 4-5 versus Oruru, two straight goals. Down in the southeast, mid southeast. Kalangadu, 5-5, 35 lead. Hathaway at halftime, 2-2, 14. In River Murray, it's Jervois, the favourites, 5-4, 34, leading Imperials on 3-7, 25, the margin of nine points. And in the KNT Football League, Keith, 4-2, leading Lucendale, 2-7 in a ripper down there in KNT. And the final match we have, quarter time, in the Hills Football League, Handorf 1-3-9, leading Lobethal on one point there at God's Garden, the home of the Nan Bremer Rams. That's a look around community footy on our Saturday afternoon scoreboard, the final one for 2022. Big thanks to our sponsors, the Bridge Hotel, Leon's Creek, Dace Irrigation and Fodder, and the Peruna General Store and Tavern. Well done, Bruce. Uh, we'll have a look at um, the best players in the first half. We've... Went through them before, but uh, Marshman and absolutely McGree, they're uh, odds-on favourites at the moment to be fighting it out for the medal if uh, the scoreboard doesn't change. Rinella, six straight, Morford Vale, four behinds. We're about to start the third quarter. Ball held up aloft. McGree back there. We're in the ruck where he's been dominating against Bode. Bode got his hands to that one, jumped in hard. Coming out of there, Corey. Goes forward now. 
And wrapped up, comes out the back of the pack. Can they finally get something going here? Snap on goal. It's a one on two. They have uh, the numbers here, Ranella, and they will clear. Kicks it to a one-on-one -on -one contest. We'll probably could have got a shove in the back there, but umpire says play on. Now it's a one-on-one -on -one contest. In comes the Cavalry, picking that up magnificently and moving it on there. Uh, in the end was Frisbee, I think it was. There's a man down. Marshman's hurt. Has hardly moved. He's got up now. Uh, in the end, uh, it's going to be a ball up. Marshman's uh, a little bit <coughs> sore on the that on his left side. Give him a break, Chase. He's six foot five. It takes us big blakes a long time to get off the ground. Oh, he was, uh, <laughs> he was a bit winded, but Baker gets hold of that one. He's on the ball now. They need him up there. Comes out the back. Era. Little handball through. They work it out, Ranella. They've got some runners on the outside. Go to half forward in front of the grandstand. He gets over the back of the pack, carried on the breeze. Spills out over the back. Man goes down, and in comes a couple of teammates there in the end. Man, he's had hardly touched it today, I've got to say, Corey Mills Richardson. He's been well hurled. And in the end, we've got a ball <coughs> up. Oh, I think there's a few players out there, Jace, that have, yeah, they know they've got a lift at half time. Corey just dumped in the yeah. tackle. Another ball up. Yeah, Corey's one of those that's got to start getting a little bit more ball and get into it. Here he is again, and you can just see that onto him, and he's been pinged holding the ball. Well, a little unlucky, but it's the likes of him and Souter that have got to uh, start to lift if uh, the Emus are to get back in this match. And uh, the likes of uh, Beamons, Malloy, yeah, some of their big guns have got to Start getting some ball, but uh, one would think you can put the glasses down if he kicks it from this pocket. A difficult spot to kick it from. That looks pretty good, but it's just gone to the skinny side. A minor score on the Murray Valley Shed scoreboard. Their first blemish. Yep. 6-1, 37, more for Vale. Four behinds. Brought back in. Here is Mardigan. He's got hold of it now. Been pretty good. He's going to have no other option but to go down the line. They need to take some chances here. That's going to get on the breeze. Look at that go. There's that over the boundary line. Got another score I'm going to give you. Uh, from You went around the grounds at half time. Got another score I'm going to give you when we get our next break in play. McLean comes in. Going to go over the boundary line. All right, so... The greatest goal kicker in South Australian country football history has wound up his career today, Bruce, over on the Air Peninsula. Great Flinders football oh, score. Oh, he'd play for Tumby Bay, wouldn't he? Chris Prime. We'll get to that in a moment. <laughs> Prime time. Tossed in. Of course, uh, cult hero for the Red Legs back in the day as well in the 90s, Chris Prime. Tumby Bay, 15-10-100, lock 3-4-22 in the reserves grand final. Look at that work from McGree out of the ruck again. Dive in, desperation, but this is not getting it done for Morfa Vale at the moment. They need to get the ball out into space. At Prime go in his last game, did he kick a few? Well, in his last game, uh, Tumby Bay, of course, they did the job and uh, got the job done. Filippo Fiore, who he's passed the, uh, uh, I guess, the, uh, the torch to, um, he kicked eight goals for the Tumby Bay boys. And Chris Prime, goalless in his last game. <laughs> he would have played up the ground a little oh, bit. Oh, good smother there by the Emus as they bust their guts to get back oh, into this. McCree. Oh, big dump by McGree. And this he's is ridiculous. And he's been pinged all accordingly. This is ridiculous. This is, it's a free kick, in fact, against him. Yep, yep, he dumped him. And Emus bringing out a defence. They need a mark up here on centre wing, but it's not coming. Couldn't quite hold it there. Was Ranella's uh, little fella in the Frisbee. Play on the call. Big, strong tackle there by Thompson. And the umpire comes in and he says, my ball. A by play there between Frisbee and uh, Manns. Up they go. Oh, just managed to soccer it out to his advantage. And again is uh, Sh uh, Schindler Taylor. No, Shermer. The coat cans just wet the paper. <laughs> Play on the call. Era's in there. Oh, big tackle. 
Another good tackle. Corey gets his hands on the footy. Quick kick out of there by uh, Baker. Chance here for the Emus. Got two numbers there. Three, four on two. And look at that. Just wrapped him up. And another ball up. Half forward flank for the Emus. Baker tries to come in there. He tried to get uh, McGree off the footy. He just absolutely basketballed that. One-handed, if you don't mind. Martigan's going to come in here. Carpenter couldn't pick it up cleanly. And as a result, he gets wrapped up by two wine flies. Umpire says, no, that's a dumping tackle. And Carpenter's going to get the free kick as a result. He got lucky. Swings around now. He's going to kick it off the right. Goes as long and deep as he can. Off hands. McGree didn't take it on that occasion. It's up and down. Can someone take a mark? Oh, big spoil. It goes out now over the boundary line. Or three for one behind in the end. That's their fifth behind of the day. No goals scored yet. Yeah, unbelievable. Saw this last year in the grand final. More for Vale. They did all the hard work to get here. And then on the day, they would sell it up by Flagstaff Hill today. It's happening. Again. Again. Era, look at that kick. Era just takes him on. Says, come on, Banks, we're off. Oh! Oh, he gets decked after disposal. And Era is down, taking the resulting free kick in a hurry. was Roundtree. Get an MGA replay of that. Roundtree moved it on. He kicked it along there to Scotland, who turned around and went to the goal square. It's off hands over the back. Who's back onto it? Is that a goal? Or is it touched through... I think it's touched and out over the boundary line. Yep. It'll be tossed in. Yep. Tossed in next Score to the coming behind coming in uh, in the Great Southern halftime. McLaren 3-9. Wollonga taking it right up to them. 3-2. Next to the Great Southern footy sending that into us. We've got a replay coming up in a minute. Diving through there was Roundtree. Got it out. Chain of handballs. Look out. Wrapped up. Baker got hold of him. And the umpire says, I'll have it. Oh! He drilled him. About to be tossed up. Dangerous spot here for the Emus. They cannot afford to concede one. It's hacked out of there now. There's a couple of players from the Emus come in late. They contested it against each other in the end. Oh, Era just tracked him down and bailed him over the line. He wants revenge. Front on, full chested era. He says, "Well, you're going to knock me around the head." Oh, she got this. Shinla Taylor was. Well, it was like uh, being put in a drum, wasn't it? Rolled almost, around, almost absorbed him, osmosis style. It was almost like the Mad Monday, put in that uh, tire and rolled down the hill and hit the nine wheelie bins. Oh, <laughs> gee whiz! The boundary umpires had a bit of trouble into the breeze there. They're going to call that back and have another go. Here he goes. Gets that one a bit better purchase on it. Drops short again. Coming through there. Little handball out from Baker. Off the ground. That might be the way home. Just scrubber it forward. Coming through there, meeting it. Little handball over the top. That was good work there from uh, Hartwig, who needs to get up the ground more now. They're out the back here. Igerson, can he finish it off? He slides in for some reason. That will be holding the ball. No, it won't. Says the umpire, I thought if you slid into the footy like that and got wrapped up, was holding the ball. But apparently not. I just got a tap down. Now the wine flies again. They look to clear. Can't get it out of there. Del Santo gets knocked on his backside. He comes in again, has another crack, and it'll be tossed up. Gee whiz. Well, really low percentage, Jace. He, he should have probably socketed it off the ground. That would have been a better option than uh, sliding into it. Would have thought so. Hardly been able to get into the contest today, I just And Ira's going to get a free kick here. Boy. As we always say in the commentary box, a lot easier sitting in here than out there. And a good take in the back pocket here by the wine flyers with all the answers at the moment, haven't they? Frisbee. Kicks it in, finds a man. Jeez, they've been good today. Short. He's got it again. This is Scotland. Scotland. It's going to go long down the line. Why not McGree's backing back? Got bundled out of that contest. Umpire says play on. Marshman comes flashing through there. Look out, he's got it. Not quite. Kicks reverse, inverse, torpedo, punt, mongrel, finger-breaking thing that did absolutely nothing except put his teammate under the pump. Bymans came in to lay a tackle and he'll get a free kick for holding the ball. Now that's what they need to do. They need to go inboard and attack from the other side of the ground. The Emus there are going to keep it going out there. Clarkson... 
sensing what needs to happen. They come in from a different angle. And look at that. Wouldn't you know it? They found a chest. We might have a shot on goal here. Clarkson, beautiful work. <laughs> Smart footy. And that's what they're going to need to do. And this is Igerson. Yeah, uh, 10 minute mark of the third quarter lining up for your first goal. Not really a good idea in a grand final. But stranger things have happened. And I well, find it hard to see from this point in time. Well, I'll talk about the, the lay of the land in a minute, but Igerson now comes in. He must kick this goal. Kick on goal. Looks pretty good. The goal umpire doesn't move. That's their first. More of a veil. They're on the board. 1 5 11 6 1 37 on the Murray Valley Shed scoreboard. And there you go. So look at it, Bruce. Uh, six scoring shots to seven. Yeah, there's not a lot in it, but when you uh, put the goals and points together, <laughs> it makes a big difference. Well, the problem is, uh, Ranella have been the masters of getting better looks at goal than the Emus. A lot of their forward forays, the Emus have been pretty shallow and, and back there in defence. Obviously, the Wineflyers have been able to get numbers back and run it out of defence, whereas well, the Emus have, when they've been trying to get it out of defence, they've sort of hacked it out by yep. foot. Good decision. I thought that was uh, high and tackled him into the ground. Corey plays on, goes wide towards the Era territory. Over the back, McGree. The umpire is a free. Era. Might have just been a shepherd off of the ball or a, little bit unlucky. or a hold. A little bit unlucky there. Uh, not sure who the big fella is on the mark, but he came up and he slipped as he went to go and jump into the contest and slipped straight into Era's back. Right. Good pick up. Kicks it down the line there, right in front of the big crowd here at Flinders University Stadium. Oh, good tackle. The umpire says a bit high. Corey's and lifting. Corey's lifting, he is. He's the man. The engine room. Kicks it to half forward. Teammate there takes the mark. Can't quite see. Sun a little lower now and coming into our commentary box. Snap in the pocket. Looks okay. It's home. Hartwig. Great goal by Hartwig. Summer is just around the corner. It's time to get your air conditioning sorted. Call the one-stop shop. Air diffusion agencies. Air conditioning components, copper and fittings, flexible duct, aluminium grills, spare parts and more. ADA are proudly family owned since 1989. Five big locations, Lonsdale, Salisbury, Darwin, Brisbane or see us at 99 to 109 Frederick Street, Welland. Phone 08 8116 3600. Serving you for over 30 years. Proudly supporting Southern Football League. MFL TV Live marching back to 20 points. Game on here at Flinders University Stadium. Yeah, I think they need another one back in the centre. McGree goes to ground. Play on's the call. And it's bottled up in there. And Souter around that pack. Ooh, and McGree's come up sore here. He's got up a little proppy on that right ankle, hasn't he? <coughs> Uses the body. Play on's the call. Era. Bit of a hold on a, ta on a bit of a shepherd. Play on's the call. Well done. Good stuff there by uh, Ronella. That was the 28, wasn't a visa. And they go down that uh, club room side over the back there. Good stuff in there was uh, Mardigan. But they come away with it back in front of that big crowd. Oh, good what diving, Mark. What a kick that was from Carpenter. And, and that's got to be 25. Got to be. Surely. And the EMU fans here go wild at Flinders University Stadium. 25 metres, brings him in range and kicking from that uh, side with the win, really a gettable goal. Well, they've clearly talked about this at half-time and, and what, they, what they've been able to do here, the Emus, is they're attacking from the correct side of the ground for this end of the ground. So rather than go into the dead pocket, every time they've come down this side of the wing, they've looked to go inboard and then across to the fat side, something we didn't see in the reserves grade. In he comes now. Tell you what, if this is on target, we got ourselves a ball game and it's the post. Oh. <clears throat> 2 6 18, 6 1 37. They found the way home to score, and the scoring way from that end of the ground, the uh, the northern end, is to attack from the, uh, the grandstand side. No doubt about it. 
or if not from there, through the middle of the ground. Either way, they're not getting sucked into this dead pocket. You can bet your bottom dollar the wine flies in the defence. They're going to kick it out here towards us, and they do. Coming back with a flight of the ball is Baker, and he takes the chess mark. Now, what will he do? Straight away, he's looking up, and he goes inboard. So there you go. That's been the direction at three-quarter time. You can clearly tell that. Went inboard inside forward 50 on that occasion. I'm not sure about the wisdom of it. In the end, he's going to have to contest now against the big Ruckman McGree, who's up and going again. Now they've got uh, an opportunity to turn it over again. Mark taken by Bode. Now, what will Bode do? Will he go down the line? He shouldn't. He should look inboard. Mardigan's there. He's going to go down the line, and they're sucked into that dead pocket. Up they go off hands over the boundary line. It'll be tossed in. Half forward, 55 metres out from... <coughs> The Emu's goal, and this is where it gets tough to score down here, Bruce. Yeah, certainly got a little bit of pep in their step again. Uh, the Emus and a uh, bit of fighting spirit back into it. Bit of a sniff, as they say. They just need another goal into this uh, up this top end into the breeze. Up they go, punched away, gains 20 metres. Can they get onto something here? In hard they go. In there was uh, the 14, which was uh, Hartwig. Another bounce, McGree comes over the top and smashes it out to the boundary. The other thing that uh, the Emus have been able to do in this quarter, Bruce, is third man up, which you can't do at AFL or SNFL level anymore. But at this level of the game, you can. So they've allowed, they haven't allowed they have allowed McGree to dominate the ruck contest. That was Dal Sando before who flashed across the, the front of the pack to knock that out. This occasion, no, there he is. Look at that. As soon as you give him a chance to go one-on-one -on -one in the ruck against Bode, he's dominating, and that's kicked out on the full. Just hacked out of there by Robert Schindler Taylor. It wasn't a lot more he could do there, Jace. He was under pressure and at full speed. Tried to hook it around the body, but uh, yeah, didn't connect properly and out in the full. But they're playing a lot better, the Emus. And there's a big crowd here right behind them down in the uh, in the scoreboard pocket. And uh, well, they'll be kicking towards their uh, cheer squad in the last quarter as well yeah, with the just, aid of the breeze. Just feel if they can get another one. They're right in contention. Up they go, big fist from behind, thumped on, and it goes out of bounds. We'll have another throw in, probably about 60 around from the Emu's goal on the Murray Valley Shed scoreboard, 6137-2618. They can get the footy here and look inboard. Carpenter's got a little bit of space. Baker hits it to the front, Souter gets wrapped up straight away by about three wine flies. Oh, hello. He played for that one and got it. Souter fell into it. Yes, he did flick his arm up, but you got him high. It's a free kick every day of the week. Not Jack Ginnivan. Down the line they go. Big Borholm put his hands to it first. Couldn't take the mark. Now the Emus look to clear and look to go across the ground down the middle. Oh, that's a terrible kick off the left. I'm not sure what happened there. For FAD, is it? Free kick after disposal. Who's taking the kick? It's Bode. Yeah, Bode. Bode and kicks it straight into that dead pocket. That's why you're a ruckman. Dumb kick, and the Ranella crew will clear here. That's a throw. Umpire's picked it up. He has. Yep. So a real chance here to center this into the into the uh, hot spot there and get a big mark. Who they've got there? Up they go. Can't take it. Off hands, front and center, and Roly Poly out of bounds in that right forward pocket. Yes, we've seen uh, all the goals they got. Pretty much both come from that other side of the oval, didn't they? They did. At least on that occasion, he's darted it in. That's the only way forward in that in that uh, pocket is to not kick it up on the breeze. It's just to dart it in and hope that someone can get in front and take a mark. But it spills down now. And look at the numbers around this. The big fella McGree. When he's not winning taps, he's laying tackles. Pretty much just two players passed half forward. Which is incredible, the old flood method. Corey gets taken high. Free kick. Well done, Corey. Flash through. It was Roundtree that got him over the shoulder. And here comes the Emus. Spurred on by disappointment of grand finals past. In particular last year. What a turn up. They were 32 points down at three-quarter time. He kicks this. It's game on for sure. Not an easy kick. 
He comes in and he nails it! Morford Vale kick their third. West End is proud to be a long-standing supporter of sport across all levels in South Australia. From a 68-year partnership with the SANFL, whose Premier's colours now adorn the top of the famous Brickworks kiln each year, to the Adelaide Footy League and Community Football, to the Adelaide Strikers, West End Redbacks and Premier Cricket and many other local sporting competitions and venues throughout the state. West End is synonymous with the sporting landscape in SA. West End, we're still here, in the community, at your local and on the hill. MFL TV live all over the shoulder. Corey again, who has lifted. Boy, goodness, he's inspired at the moment. Corey gets another free kick. Third in the male medal this year. 15 votes. Doesn't care about that now. The only medal he wants is maybe 35 minutes away. They're storming back into this, the Emus. Long kick forward over the back. Oh, man taken. in front. Man in front. Should have punched it. He knows it, Dixon. Line on the ground. Igerson. Hardly touched it to start this quarter. And I'll tell you what, I reckon the safe hands of Dixon helped him there. We've got a uh, replay coming up. Long kick forward. Oh, he's in the perfect position to punch. And he just helped Igerson bring the ball to ground. Man in front every day of the week, Bruce. Oh, the MGA replays. Great to have the MGA insurance team on board in 2022. Well done to the girls on camera. Drives it in. It's looking like coming back. Has it got enough legs? Off no. Touch right on the line. I think it might have even hit the post. Yeah, it did. Yep. And a minor score on the board. Gee, what's happened here? Jace, two, hours, uh, two quarters and ten minutes. They couldn't get a goal. The last ten minutes has been all one-way traffic. Two goals in it. It's a two-goal game. We're set for a thriller here at Flinders University Stadium. They're inspired. The Emus Martigan couldn't take it. Off hands over the back. They're diving in now. Ranella is sensing the danger. Umpire says that's Whoa. holding the ball. You dived on it. You've got to get it out when you do that. Oh, this could be 25 as well. He wants the footy back. He's not getting it. Yeah, silly play. Should have cost him. Lucky. Michael Smith getting involved now. He wants someone to move up forward. What's he going to do here? Is he going to go into that dead pocket? He is. Got sucked into it. Here you go, the wine flies. They can run it out now. They're looking to run it out by hands. Oh, he's copped the one in the chin. Up by says holding the ball. Does he know it was too high? high. Yep. Boy. Good call. Good call. Oh. Out wide. Good spoil. And it goes out of bounds. Good work there by Baker. Well, we've got a game on our hands here now. I tell you what, the baby could have just about slept in the back of the Look car 15 that. minutes oh, ago. Oh, jeez. He just about took his jaw clean off. And now... It's game on. There's medals over there in the Southern Football League's hands. It could go either way at the moment. Up they go, over the back. Oh, gutsy work. Put the body on the line. Snap around the body. Oh, just oh. couldn't quite trap it. Oh, that looked a bit throwish, didn't it? Got away with it. Out to that uh, club room side. First on it there was uh, Morfitt Vale in uh, Smith. Drives it into full fight. Got it. Got it. Good mark. Beautiful overhead mark. In the end, probably uncontested. And he'll go back straight in front, if you don't mind. Igerson again, Bruce. Yes, he's lifted. He got, uh, he's got one. We've got him down for one. Hardly touched it in the first half. He's had two clean shots so far. This will be his third. Oh, listen to this emu crowd go wild if he can caress this one through. Igerson gently pokes it through. He's happy. The umpire's happy. We got a game on. Meet at the Mount combines the years of home delivery with the passion and knowledge of your local butcher. Farming the Flurio since 1841 and it shows when you taste the quality of hand-picked meat and produce available. Meat at the Mount can deliver your meat, dairy, eggs, fruit and veg straight to your door. They've recently included kangaroo and rolled oats for those looking a healthy option on the cold mornings. Delivering to Adelaide, the Flurio, Mount Barker, Tuesday to Saturday. One-time offer, order online at meatatthemount.com.au and use the code SOUTHERN22 to get... MFL TV live. There's a kick in it here at Flinders University Stadium. Unbelievable. Look at that. The last 10 goals down the bottom. 
Unbelievable situation here. We're getting close to three-quarter time. And the Wine Flyers need a goal for the first time in the grand final. They're desperately needing one. Coming off there, Mardigan. He's been good all day for the Emus. Kicks it out to a one-on-one. -on -one. Could have been held. Umpire says play on. Now they're inspired. Look at them go. They've got runners all over the place. Baker going up and down to the one spot. He needs a rest. That's, da that's downfield. Downfield. They're under pressure now, the top side. Silly footy. And that crowd are getting involved as well. Souter plays on. Goes long into full forward area. One hand. He's got oh, it. What a mark. That's He's got it again. The day. That's the mark of the day. Out of position. Held his feet and pulled it in one-handed. And a chance to go back and put it on a level playing field. Dylan Williams has hardly seen it all day. And he's stuck out the one mitt and it's stuck. There's the siren. Three-quarter time. And it is Malloy lining up. What a kick. Could take the scores level into three-quarter time. Sorry, Williams brings it back. That is a beauty. The Morphys are inspired. The scores are level at three-quarter time. 6-1 to 5-7. Oh, what a game. Boy, oh boy. Heading towards three-quarter time. It is now. We'll go for a break. Bruce is going to take a Valium, and we'll be back from Flinders University Stadium. 6-1-37, 5 locked away at three-quarter time in the Southern Football League Grand Final. Summer is just around the corner. It's time to get your air conditioning sorted. Call the one-stop shop, Air Diffusion Agencies. Air conditioning components, copper and fittings, flexible duct, aluminium grills, spare parts and more. ADA are proudly family-owned since 1989. Five big locations, Lonsdale, Salisbury, Darwin, Brisbane, or see us at 99 to 109 Frederick Street, Welland. Phone 08 8116 3600. Serving you for over 30 years. Proudly supporting Southern Football League. It's funny how my car always gets left out in the sun. You know what I need? A new shed. From carports, sheds, verandas, no job is too big or too small. Industrial, domestic and commercial, from plans, Footings to shed instalment, he can even organise the concrete too. From the hills to Murray Lands and out in the Mallee, from farm and rural sheds, commercial and industrial sheds, Calibon sheds, cyclone rated sheds, with over 15 years experience, call Wayne today for a free measure and quote. Don't muck it, call Wayne Luckett. 0417 852 032. Builder's Licence 243 895. What does farming and the BT50 have in common? They are both reborn and built from the ground up. Perfect for the man on the land or that adventure, the BT50 is available at Duddon's Murraylands. Duddon's are a 70 year old, third generation, family owned, multi franchise dealer that you can trust. Now with Ford, so check out their Everest. Duddon's are your 4x4 and SUV specialists. Visit either of their two Murraybridge dealerships or visit duddon's.com.au for more information. Duddon's, easy to do business with. Do you need your driveway exposed with some awesome squares? Time to call a team from Carstairs. From shared floors, driveways or your footpath, call the guys at Carstairs Concrete Services. They've got the staff. Brighten that entertaining area with some colour. Call Carstairs. There is no other. From foundations to a fence post, no job is too big or too small. It's time to give the professionals Carstairs a call. Phone 0401 009 886. Carstairs Concrete Services. Our guarantee is setting concrete. Yo. Looking for the big orange sign? You'll find it at number 39. It's Fishers. It's Fishers. Can't wait to drive my new used car. Service and finance the best by far. It's Fishers. It's Fishers. Drop in and see Alex or Rick. They've got the used car that'll do the trick. It's Fishers. It's Fishers. Service detailed, ready to go. You'll find them at 39 Adelaide Road. It's Fishers. It's Fishers name you can trust with no fears because they've been serving you for over 60 years. It's Fishers. Phone 85322 500. Do you want to add a little magic to your flooring and window furnishings? At Solomon's we have a huge range of carpet and hard flooring options, blinds and shutters and our fantastic made to measure curtains too. We've got all the latest trends at magical Solomon's prices. And don't forget to ask about our shop at home service too. So to really transform your home, remember, 
there's magic in a Solomon's floor. And there's magic in a Solomon's store. Thinking Insurance, an MGA insurance group broker, can save you time, money and stress. Whether it's business, farm, crop, professional or private insurance, MGA provides advice and assistance to make sure you're properly protected. And when claims arise, MGA works for you to ensure that you get your full entitlement. Your local MGA insurance group broker is a specialist in insurance and risk management. Give them a call today and put MGA to work for you. Contact Bianca in Pinaroo, 0411 389. Nine five two four. Hey. Big Bruce is the hold up. Get him off the ground. They're in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Off. The boss is off he's the ground now. He's coming it too. He's coming it. He's been to both huddles at three quarter time. We'll get a, a chat from him in a minute and see what was said in the three quarter time huddle because we are all tied up. To start the last quarter, Markle Mantry alongside him in the wine flies go for first. Marshman, up he goes underneath it. Couldn't get hold of it. Oh, it's on. Couple of big tackles there. Mardigan wrapped him up. Callan Temple couldn't get hold of it. Bode, all of a sudden he's playing like Jim Steins. Tap that over his head. Now they go forward again. The wine flies. Mardigan, did he get hold of that? He couldn't. Flashing through there. We're going to get a ball up. Martin can come back in for a second crack. Boy, did this game turn on its head. Hasn't it? Well, sometimes when you're that far down in a grand final, you've got nothing to lose. Might as well go all out attack. They did. And all of a sudden, things started going their way. Now, they're right in this. Up they go. Got the true set up for the big Ruckman grabs it. Oh, is that too high? No, he says play on. Ooh. He'll pull it up here right at the true centre half forward line for the wine flies. Rinella are a very good team. They have shown it all year. Can they keep going? Oh, Byman's holding the ball. Ooh. He grabbed hold of it, tried to kick it, missed his foot, and now we've got the resulting free kick. Rinella have lifted. They needed to. And you'd expect it to. They've been a really good team all year. Any score puts them in front. That's the important thing. Coming in, Nicholas McLean. Can he be clean? Kicks off that beautiful left foot of his. It starts out to the left, but it holds Let's on. Go. That's their seventh. The crowd are up and about. They hit the front. Rory Ranella, 7 1, 43. Morford Vale, 5 7 37. Murray Valley Shed scoreboard. Two minutes gone last quarter. Summer is just around the corner. It's time to get your air conditioning sorted. Call the one-stop shop, air diffusion agencies, air conditioning components, copper and fittings, flexible duct, aluminium grills, spare parts and more. ADA are proudly family owned since 1989. Five big locations, Lonsdale, Salisbury, Darwin, Brisbane. Or see us at 99 to 109 Frederick Street, Welland. Phone 088... MFL TV Live, the big ruckman again. McGree was inspired, took it out of the ruck on a handball to a teammate. They're inside Ford 50 again. The wine flies, they have lifted. Whatever was said at three-quarter time has got under their goat and they're fired up. The Emu's hanging on for grim death after a five-goal third quarter. What a turn up. Tossed up again. Here he goes. Borholm gets the tap down on that occasion. Byman's a bit cleaner on this occasion. Kicks it out, on out of the full. No? No, not quite. Carpenter off hands. The big roar, I think, might have been for the whack after disposal. <laughs> the crowd is enormous here today. They are roaring. It's almost built in the last quarter and a half. As things have started to turn on their head. Bode, McGree. On that occasion, McGree took it out of the ruck. Bode ragdolled him, but he got a kick away anyway, the big fella, because he's a freak. That's too high. Umpire saw it right in front of him, and then he pushed him to the ground afterwards. This could be 25. It's not going to be. Dylan Rosser, it is. It's going to take the kick. And it was the two tens on each other there. And no, Locke, I think, was involved originally, but standing the mark is Schneider-Taylor. 
This is a big kick here by Rossa. Must finish it. Wine flies have learnt. That's where you enter in from in, on this day. The wind is going to be over that way. Not too hard to kick. In he comes. A deliberate run up. Stabs at it. Goes straight across the ground. And it'll be a minor score. That's their second blemish today. 7-2-44. They lead by those seven points they've kicked in this quarter. Straight away they're off. More for Vales. Lyle goes as long as he can out to the wing position. There's only one man there, and it's not a, a teammate of his. Bradley Thompson's got it. Thompson holds it up. Coming out into this dead pocket, is he? No, he looks inboard on this occasion. He faked to go out there. Bornholm tried to go into the gap there. Marshman back with the flight of it. It's a free kick. <coughs> And Ranella will get it. What's going on down here? We've got Potter down on the ground. He's will it be his? Cramp or is he hurt his ankle? He's got a bit of a limp up. Well, it's a sign of a good side. They were challenged in that third quarter. They've come out breathing fire. Now it's whether or not the emus can res respond. They're going to have to up the ante again, the Emus. Potter comes in. Kicks it as long as he can, and it's not accurate. Well, he got through for a behind in the end. That was lucky. I thought it was Jeez. going to be nowhere near it. He's almost coming back to us. The Emus just a bit panicky now all of a sudden. Baker waits at the foot of that. Mark taken. Good take. Bymans again. Here's Bymans. He looks around. Drives the ball down on the half forward line. It's going to go right out of bounds. And Ranella will have it. They'll take it through the, the trusty hands there of Scotland. Scotland looks around. He drives the ball down. Who's up there? Who's down there? Oh, oh, that's 25-50. Ah, no. oh, that... <coughs> it was Frisbee who got hold of the footy. Mardigan's tried to come in desperately, late. And in the end, 25 metres will be paid, and it'll be Callan Semple who gets trotted down. He'll be inside the Ford 50 now. It's not a disaster, really. For more for Vale, because I'm not sure he's got the trip here. This is the toughest spot on the ground to kick goals today. Almost bang into the teeth of that breeze, Mark. There we go. He's almost got to hit it at the point post. Emus now look to clear. They had numbers behind the footy and they do clear. Look at this kid on the breeze. He's going to go straight out the back. Over the back, can he get past a man? Got a handball out. Now it's a foot race. The wine flyers have a couple of players there. Can they work this out? Handball back in board. Now they're away again. Man on the wing. He takes it now. Liam Reed kicks it out of the full. Mardigan takes the resulting free kick. Will he look to go in board? Here he goes down the line. Coming up to meet it there. Mark taken. Byman's again. Almost best man on the ground in this second half. Kicks it as long as he can down the line. Up they go. Off hands. Man waiting down there. Taking the resulting ball oh, he there. Kicks over the line. He went over the line with it, did he? In the end, he did. That's Farrier. In fact, it's Liam Reed again. Right in front of the Emu's cheer squad here. In front of the bar. They are cheering loud. In comes the ball. Big thump forward. Oh, oh, too high. That'll be a free kick here to Ranella. And he certainly let Bymans know about it. Ball goes down. Here's Mardigan. 
Marty with a little chip forward. Tell you what, Del Sandler couldn't even walk then. <coughs> oh, that's ball! Oh, era. Great oh, tackle! inspirational stuff! That's what win grand finals. Byman's! Byman's it was. Unbelievable. Their era has been slippery all day. And Byman's wrapped him up. Byman's... Oh, and the oh, terrible kick. Oh, terrible kick. He's, He's turned over. It. Unbelievable. Mardigan's there at the back of this pack. It spills forward of it. He's waiting like a goalkeeper out the back. Bode wraps up. That's a good win in the end there. A halving of that contest there. Potter. They'll take that. There's some bo sell boys out here, I tell you what. Up they go. The big ruckman trying to take it. Goes to ground. Umpire will come in and he'll ball it up. This is tough, hard footy. A grand final on the, on the end of the line here for them. Ranella lifted to start this final quarter, and now the Emus have come back to match them. Can they get something on the scoreboard, though, in the back? No. Umpire says play on. Corey got it out. In the end, will his teammate be able to get there in time? No. I just out in front of him, and it'll be a resulting free kick in the end to Ranella. Here's the wine flies. The ball's going to hang up in the air. Is it going to go all the way out? Oh. Oh, it's just come off hands. The boundary up high will throw it back in. It's game on here. Eight points of difference. Trinella's at the moment. Can the emu steal it? Great tap away. Comes to ground. Big tackle. Dives around. Goes up along this wing. Oh, very safe there. Brilliant hands there by Locke. Got a lot no, of free, no, kick. free kick. Marshman gets hold of it now. Looks to go forward. Got a teammate on. He takes the mark. Mardigan comes up. Not sure about that free kick, but anyway, it's paid and it's now in the hands of Semple. Semple goes as long as he can. Marshman gets back and contests. Almost took the mark. Brought it to ground, though, and then fought for it on the deck. Gee whiz. Another one of those heroes today who's tried desperately hard for his club. Rucks go at it. Bode, he's fought against everyone today. Tried hard. Michael Smith takes the ball now for Morford Vale. The Emus find themselves now trailing by eight points. Bode had to get it out of there quick. And he got it back, handballed it into traffic. Look at them dive in. Byman's again. What a star he's been in the second half. Era got a hand to it. Now a chain of handballs ends up going back to Era. Era, like the rubber band, kicks. Oh, he's more for Vale Milk there. Got a fingertip to it. Byman's in the end now gets hold of it. Underneath that, there's a couple coming in. Look at that. A big crunch. Well read there in the end by Bradley Thompson, it was. He's got some teammates now. Spreads it out. They look to attack. Inside forward 50. Over the back. Mark taken. That's what happens if you square up and come down the fat side. It opens it up. That's it. Well, there he is, Callan Semple. This is a big kick in the context of this game. It's a huge, huge kick. It's a huge kick, this one. Kicks this now, and they will be hard to toss from here. We're 12 minutes gone last quarter. A miss, and the Emus still a chance. Not an easy shot. Not a, None of them are today, but he's got he's it. He's got it. Cool as a cucumber. That's their eighth. West End is proud to be a long-standing supporter of sport across all levels in South Australia. From a 68-year partnership with the SANFL, whose Premier's colours now adorn the top of the famous Brickworks kiln each year, to the Adelaide Footy League and community football. To the Adelaide Strikers, West End Redbacks and Premier Cricket and many other local sporting competitions and venues throughout the state. West End is synonymous with the sporting landscape and SA. West End, we're still here in the community, at your local and on the hill.
MFL TV live. The Wine Flyers look to go forward again. They've pushed the margin out to 14 points. Byman's wrapped up in a big tackle. It's eight on eight. Frisbee got hold of him. Byman's tosses it back to the umpire. Frisbee gets up. Rucks go at it again. Bode comes to Del Santo, takes that's it out of the ruck. That's gone. Then gets wrapped up. It wasn't it wasn't him at all, Del Santo. In fact, it was Corey. And taking the uh, the resulting free kick is Roundtree. Roundtree goes as long as he can into the pocket. Up they go. Ball spills down. One fly at the bottom of the pack there. Wrapped up in a tackle. It's that man again in this last quarter. He has been prominent. Callum Semple. Some good forwards today from both sides. What a game of footy this has been. Flicked out the back. Oh, the wine flies now are really on the hammer of any emu that gets hold of the footy. They need a lift. Souter needs to get into the contest here. He's drifted out of it. Byman's is just about taking the game by the scruff of the neck. He needs some mates to come with him. Tossed in. Up they go. Oh, big fist out of there. In the end, Byman's was running onto it again. Couldn't get hold of it on that occasion. That was... Uh, Michael Smith had come over the top there as the third man up. Just about time to start taking some risks. 14 points the margin. Can they get going again? Byman's gets his hands on it again, wrapped up by two Wineflies tacklers who sense the danger. Round tree there and Farrelly. Goes again, Corey. Good handball. Just dribbles it through the centre of the ground, coming up to meet it full oh. chest. And, oh, he got sandwiched. Umpire says, "Give it to me." Gutsy stuff. Sandwiched between two emu tacklers. McGree tried to take it out of the ruck again. In He's the end, just wins his own clearance because that's what I can do. He says, kicks it long forward. It's in the goal square. Portholm. Took about 17 cricks at it. In the end, around on the left foot. He's kicked another one. Home. Just about now, Callan Temple. Is that the nail in the coffin? Here's the replay of it. And the one flies look home, if you ask me. 20 points is going to be a huge catch-up. Kicked his third. Let's remember that from about the halfway mark of the third quarter, Morford Vale reeled off four goals on the trot. Back in the middle. They need to get rolling now. Corey says, uh, you're not going anywhere, son. Can they lift again, the Emus? McGree is inspired. Byman's long kick forward inside, half forward now. They need a goal now. They need a couple of goals back to back to make a real go of this in the last few minutes. Umpires come in and says, I'll have it just forward of centre for the Emus. McGree, Bode again going at it. Baker blocked there as the third man up. Couldn't get access to it. Little handball out there. Couldn't take it in the end with Souter. Wrapped up, big tackle, round tree. Well done. Look back to the umpire. Up they go. Chat, what's going on? Be a free kick here. That'll go to the wine flies. Something off the ball, an indiscretion. Baker's been frustrated because he's trying to get third man up and he's being blocked. And on that occasion, he ran straight into the back of a wine fly, Mark. Gave away the free kick. Yeah. They'll just settle this game down now. Here's Whitbread. Drives it up on this wing. Down there. Here we go. One on one. It goes over the back. They're in trouble. There oh, it goes over the this. back. The race is on. Balls hit the ground. 
The umpire will come in and ball it up. Well, it's at the right end of the ground now if you're a wine fly. They had some nervous moments heading into round three-quarter time, but they're back on top again now. Re-establish that 20-point margin. Be tossed back in again. They're nearly home, the wine flies. You'd think one more now just about seals the deal. For the Emus, an inspired third-term comeback. Could be all for nothing if they don't get one quickly. Tossed in. Palm down. No one can take it. There's plenty of numbers around the footy. We've got a free kick here, and it's going the way of the wine flies. Not sure what he saw there, the umpire. Roundtree's going to take it. Must have been a throw, perhaps. Too far out to score with the breeze the way it is, but he'll take his full allotment of time here, kick it as deep as he can, and hope that there's a crummer at the foot of the pack. In he comes. It's exactly what happens. Kicks it to the top of the square. Up they come. Marshman! Oh! Almost, not quite. Kicked on goal. Mark relieving Mark taken there. And away they go now. Morford Vale. That's Connor Locke. Kicked it onto a teammate. They need to get going. Got to take some risks. Up they go. Man down at the fall of the ball. Taking it was Hartwig. Couldn't do it. Kicks it over the top of his head. Bit of aerial ping pong going on there for a couple of minutes. Backwards and forwards. Backwards and forwards. One flies, oh, there you go, beautiful work. Classy little kick in board. Little left foot chip over the top. Does he find a teammate? No. Like, you can see why the one flies have been the best team all year, really. The way they've lifted in this last quarter has been absolutely enormous. Tossed in. Still time if they can get a run on the Emus, but they really need to get a move on now. Time is their enemy. Warholm loiters around. Looks like he's going to take the ruck here. And he comes. It's his hand to that. Had a teammate running through. Umpire says, give it to me. We'll do it again. Warholm, the Mason Cox lookalike. Done enough up forward to be dangerous all day. Gets his hand to that. Sadder loiters on the outer part of the pack. Him with a dangerous space. Couldn't get hold of it. Carpenter gets a kick out. Goes long to the wing. McGree couldn't take it. Falls over. Umpire says free kick. Unrealistic attempt against McGree. They still need four goals with... And I, I've got to keep the old equation. If if you you need as met, many minutes and many goals, Iderson kicks it short. Hartwig's come up to meet it. Iderson needs to get on his bike, and he does. He runs past that contest. He's trying to get back down forward to present. Goes off hands over the back. That's where Iderson would have liked to have been. But there he is again, the big fella, McCree. McCree if he, has if he's been not, enormous. He's not taking marks. Roundtree's been pretty good as well. Loved his second half. When they were under the pump, he really stood up. Carpenter on the mark. They'll kick him board here. Iderson tries to come in. Roundtree gets it back. Got a man up, the Emus. I think it's just about beyond them now. Roundtree kicks out to the wing. Carpenter's got it. They need to go through the middle wherever possible now. Man out the back. He's got it. He goes to... Handball to a teammate after getting caught. Bymans runs out. Handball attacking. Handball in the goal square. There we go. That's one. It's still open. It's still game on. Daniel Noble kicks the goal in the goal square. Meet at the Mount combines the years of home delivery with the passion and knowledge of your local butcher. Farming the Flurio since 1841 and it shows when you taste the quality of hand-picked meat and produce available. Meat at the Mount can deliver your meat, dairy, eggs, fruit and veg straight to your door. They've recently included Kangaroo Island rolled oats for those looking a healthy option on the cold mornings. Delivering to Adelaide, the Flurio, Mount Barker, Tuesday to Saturday. One-time offer, order online at meatatthemount.com.au and use the code SOUTHERN22 to get 500 grams of mints in a stubby holder added to your order. 
is again taking it out of the ruck. Again, McGree, best on ground for mine today. One flies go forward again. It's at the wrong end for the Emus, although they've got a man running onto it now. He can't pick it up. Coming through there, Marshman. Handball over the top to a teammate. He wants it back, the big fella. And it's at his feet. Bounces over the boundary line. Did he get a touch to it, Mark? I think he did. Just. Well, we're alive just. Sensing they're running out of time. Souter decides to take off. He's got a man on in the middle. That's the way home from here. They have to go. It's Hartwig now using that left foot. He's got a man on out there. Everything has to be just play on. Spilled it there, Cooper Manns. Can't hardly... He struggled to get into the game today. He fights on again, Manns. Couldn't get hold of it. It was a big effort from the young fella there from the Wine Flies. In Visser. Tapped out of there. Oh, McCree, look at him go again. Souter wrapped him up, though. That could have been holding the ball. Umpire said play on. Souter wanted holding the ball. Up comes Marshman, full chest. It gets a handball back. Little chip over the top. Will it find a target? It does. Visser, the young man, slows things down. Called to play on, so he goes as long as he can. It's dangerous out over the back. Here they go. It's got to be now or never if you're an emu. I've got a couple of numbers here. A little handball over to Baker. Baker gets a handball to a teammate who fumbles. They the can't afford to do that. The fumble might have helped him there, Hartwig, in the end. They get out of it. Well, he's gone backwards. Away they go now. Can he hit a target with this kick? It's important. There's he does. The and there's a siren. The wine flies hang on. What a game of footy. What a comeback it was from Orford Vale. But in the end, Ranella with their first premiership since 2013, 9-3, 57 to 6-7, 43. A cracking grand final. They stream onto the ground. They mob each other. Look at this. What a game of footy, Michael Mantry. Unbelievable game of footy. Like I said, you can see why Ranella has been the, probably the best team all year, and uh, they deserve it. Not every, you know, sometimes you get a grand final, not everyone who deserves them wins them, but I'd have to say the wine flies deserve that. Well, they were challenged in that third quarter. We'll take a break and come back and wrap this up in a tick. We've got, obviously, presentations to do and the like, but... They were certainly challenged in that third quarter, all squared away. But they managed to regroup at three-quarter time and, like good teams do, find a way to win 9-3-57. To Morford Vale, 6-7-43. There's your quarter by quarters and full-time scores. Look at that, five goals to nothing in the third quarter from Morford Vale. Made a game of it, but unfortunately for them, too good, the Wine Flyers, and they are the Premiers for 2022. We'll wrap the game up and take the presentation shortly here on MFL TV Live. Hey, Bob, your carpet's looking dirty. Yeah, it needs a clean. It needs a canard clean. Make your job easy with canards. Carpet, footy clubs, windows, office cleans. All your cleaning products for purchase. Toilet rolls. Chemicals, floor cleaners, with shampoos and conditioners. Contact Paul Canard, 35 Adelaide Road, Pinaroo. Phone 0419 180 924. Canard Clean, cleaning the Mallee and beyond. For a better way to buy garden power tools, you'll have to go to your local still specialist. They're experts, so you'll get the tool you need. They'll familiarise you with the tool and get it ready to go. Better still, they can service it too, so it'll last for years. Still Garden Power Tools, only from Still Specialist Stores. Find yours online, better still. Have you got some water to pump, need more rainwater storage, or need more feed for the animals? We've got everything you need in store today. From fire pumps, spray equipment, pool pumps and filters, solar system water pumps, star droppers, gates and generators, PVC fittings, and poly pipe to hay, horse supplies, animal needs, and anything for the garden. Be sure to come in and see our team here at Dacia Irrigation and Fodder for the right advice. 
and the best price. Find us at 41 Milnes Road, Strathalbyn, phone 8536 4422 or 151 Adelaide Road, Murray Bridge, phone 8532 2711. When you walk into the Kandapan Hotel, you can tell the staff love what they do. The friendly atmosphere and fast service is evident the moment you walk in the door. Jonesy and Winnie have been operating the Kanaupin Hotel nearly four years, but it's the year's experience the guys have in hospitality that stands out from the rest. Their wood oven pizzas make your mouth water, and the freshly baked onion bread is to die for. With a range of meals on the chef's menu, it's a choice whether during the week or straight after footy, from 6 to 8 for dinner. Kanaupin Hotel pride themselves on fresh salads, made on site, fresh every day. Check out their Facebook page, click on the menu button and view what's hot in the chef's kitchen. With plenty of room for group functions or birthdays, make Canalpin a place to stay and relax at the Canalpin Hotel, your highway stop that hits the spot, Duke's Highway Canalpin, phone 08 1006. Drop in and get a tinny from Jonesy and Winnie. Is your home your office or your schoolyard, your gym? Is your home your local, your party venue? your studio or your headquarters change your home to suit your life don't miss your chance find your local real estate office around here we love our golden grain and we love our golden grain hotel open from 11 a.m seven days a week and meals available every night with theme nights four nights a week including burgers pizza steaks and thursday nights a schnitzel night Grab a feed for $15. Affordable for all the family. There's even a kids menu too. Locals or travellers just coming off the highway into the main street and find the Golden Grain Hotel. And shearers, farmers and spud farmers order your takeaway meals. Check the website for menus, meal specials, accommodation and upcoming events. Golden Grain Hotel, Pinaroo.com. Got a lot of empty bottles and cans cluttering up your garage or backyard? Load all of your empties in the car and get to Murray Bridge Recycling. They'll have you unloaded as quick as a speeding bullet, cashed up in a flash. With depots in Meningi and Strathalbyn too, turn those old bottles and cans into cash now. You can also assist with your waste recycling and document destruction services in the Murraylands, serving you for over 40 years. Murray Bridge Recycling, 55 Thomas Street, phone 0885 be who you want to be. Go where you want to go. It's your journey. Come on down to your local Dunlop Super Dealer and have a friendly chat because nobody knows local roads like us. Bridge Hotel, right in the heart of the creek. Drop in for a coldie after the game. Meals available, 70 Bridge Road, Langons Creek. Phone 0885 373 010. There is only one way to get your team top of the ladder. Bridge Aluminium. Manufacturing under the brand All Weld. Making platform ladders, orchid tripod ladders, tradie ladders and mezzanine ladders. They also manufacture vehicle canopies, ute trays, toolboxes and perform truck fitouts. Aluminium material sales. Their range is the best. Drop into 225 Adelaide Road, Murray Bridge. Email sales at bridgealuminium.com.au or phone 8532 5884. Bridge Aluminium. When it comes to ladders, they're the top team. Six and out, old mate. You mean window and out. Mum's gonna kill us. Mum's gonna kill you. No worries. I'll fix it fast. Who you gonna call? Bro Aluminium and Security. Specialising in windows any size. Security doors, Roller shutters, bathroom screens, fly screens, and general window repairs. Call Darren for a free measure and quote. Phone 08 85 321 230. Or visit their showroom at 44 Old Princess Highway East Side, Murray Bridge. Row Aluminium and Security, where your security is our business. It's time to relax. Breathe in, breathe out. That's the feeling you get from the Soul Deep Massage Clinic, specializing in relaxation, remedial massage, trigger point therapy, and reflexology. With on the spot health fund rebates available. Phone 85310499. Refresh your mind, body, and soul with the Soul Deep Massage Clinic. 74 Adelaide Road, Murray Bridge. 
For over 40 years, Silver Fleece has been making cricket jumpers and vests for the Australian Test Team. You too can hit the field in your very own traditional cable knit jumper, custom designed with your logo and club colours. From their factory in Hindmarsh, Adelaide, Silver Fleece manufacture cricket jumpers and vests from 100% pure Australian wool. For an obligation-free quote and design, give Greg a call on 08 8118 6099. Silver Fleece, 70 years strong, that's some innings. West End is proud to be a long-standing supporter of sport across all levels in South Australia. From a 68-year partnership with the SANFL, whose Premier's colours now adorn the top of the famous Brickworks kiln each year, to the Adelaide Footy League and Community Football, to the Adelaide Strikers, West End Redbacks and Premier Cricket and many other local sporting competitions and venues throughout the state. West End is synonymous with the sporting landscape and SA. West End, we're still here, in the community, at your local and on the hill. Grieve Property and Project Solutions Proprietary Limited is an Australian owned and operated business. We strive to provide the highest level of service, quality and integrity and our clients are our priority. We're a business that has grown through word of mouth and repeat business and we are indebted to those clients who have assisted us in expanding to where we are today. We specialise in project management, consultancy, design, shop fitting, commercial fit out, defit and make good, commercial and residential construction and maintenance. Check our website www.grieveprojects.com.au or phone 0400 990 077. Our standard, if we can't provide a solution, we'll find someone who can. Meat at the Mount combines the years of home delivery with the passion and knowledge of your local butcher. Farming the Fleurio since 1841 and it shows when you taste the quality of hand-picked meat and produce available. Meat at the Mount can deliver your meat, dairy, eggs, fruit and veg straight to your door. They've recently included Kangaroo Island rolled oats for those looking a healthy option on the cold mornings. Delivering to Adelaide, the Fleurio Mount Barker, Tuesday to Saturday. One time offer, order online at meatatthemount.com.au and use the code SOUTHERN22 to get 500 grams of mints in a stubby holder added to your order for a limited time. Meet at the Mount. Meet and more. Delivered fresh to your door. Summer is just around the corner. It's time to get your air conditioning sorted. Call the one-stop shop. Air diffusion agencies. Air conditioning components. Copper and fittings. Flexible duct. Aluminium grills. Spare parts and more. ADA are proudly family owned since 1989. Five big locations, Lonsdale, Salisbury, Darwin, Brisbane. Or see us at 99 to 109 Frederick Street, Welland. Phone 08 8116 3600. Serving you for over 30 years. Proudly supporting Southern Football League. It's funny how my car always gets left out in the sun. You know what I need? A new shed. From carports, sheds, verandas. No job is too big or too small. Industrial, domestic and commercial. From plans, Footings to shed instalment, he can even organise the concrete too. From the hills to Murray Land and out in the Mallee, from farm and rural sheds, commercial and industrial sheds, Calibon sheds, cyclone rated sheds, with over 15 years experience, call Wayne today for a free measure and quote. Don't muck it, call Wayne Luckett. 0417 852 032. Builders Licence 243 895. What does farming and the BT50 have in common? They are both reborn and built from the ground up. Perfect for the man on the land or that adventure, the BT50 is available at Duddon's Murray Lands. Duddon's are a 70 year old, third generation, family owned, multi franchise dealer that you can trust. Now with Ford, so check out their Everest. Duddon's are your 4x4 and SUV specialists. Visit either of their two Murraybridge dealerships or visit duddon's.com.au for more information. Duddon's, easy to do business with. Do you need your driveway exposed with some awesome squares? Time to call a team from Carstairs. From shed floors, driveways or your footpath, call the guys at Carstairs Concrete Services. They've got the staff. Brighten that entertaining area with some colour. Call Carstairs. There is no other. From foundations to a fence post, no job is too big or too small. It's time to give the professionals. Carstairs a call. Phone 0401 009 886. Carstairs Concrete Services. Our guarantee is setting concrete. Yo. Looking for the big orange sign, you'll find it at number 39. It's Fishers. It's Fishers. Can't wait to drive my new used car, service and finance the best by far. It's Fishers. It's Fishers. Drop in and see Alex or Rick. They've got the used car that'll do the trick. It's Fishers. It's Fishers. Service detailed, ready to go. You'll find them at 39 Adelaide Road. It's Fishers. It's Fishers. A name you can trust with no fears because they've been serving you for over 60 years. It's Fishers. Phone 85322 500. Do you want to add a little magic to your flooring and window furnishings? At 
like Solomon's, we have a huge range of carpet and hard flooring options, blinds and shutters, and our fantastic made-to-measure curtains too. We've got all the latest trends at magical Solomon's prices. And don't forget to ask about our shop at home service too. So to really transform your home, remember, there's magic in a Solomon's floor. And there's magic in a Solomon's store. Thinking Insurance, an MGA Insurance Group broker, can save you time, money and stress. Whether it's business, farm, crop, professional or private insurance, MGA provides advice and assistance to make sure you're properly protected. And when claims arise, MGA works for you to ensure that you get your full entitlement. Your local MGA Insurance Group broker is a specialist in insurance and risk management. Give them a call today and put MGA to work for you. Contact Bianca in Pinaroo, 0411 389. Hey, Bob, your carpet's looking dirty. Yeah, it needs a clean. It needs a canard clean. Make your job easy with canards. Carpet, footy clubs, windows, office cleans. All your cleaning products for purchase. Toilet rolls, chemicals, floor cleaners with shampoos and conditioners. Contact Paul Canard, 35 Adelaide Road, Pinaroo. Phone 0419 one eight zero nine two four. Canard Clean, cleaning the Mallee and beyond. For a better way to buy garden power tools, you'll have to go to your local still specialist. They're experts, so you'll get the tool you need. They'll familiarise you with the tool and get it ready to go. Better still, they can service it too, so it'll last for years. Still Garden Power Tools, only from Still Specialist Stores. Find yours online, better still. Have you got some water to pump, need more rainwater storage, or need more feed for the animals? We've got everything you need in store today. From fire pumps, spray equipment, pool pumps and filters, solar system water pumps, star droppers, gates and generators, PVC fittings and poly pipe to hay, horse supplies, animal needs and anything for the garden. Be sure to come in and see our team here at Dacia Irrigation and Fodder for the right advice and the best price. Find us at 41 Milnes Road, Strathalbyn, phone 8536 4422 or 151 Adelaide Road, Murray Bridge, phone 8532 2711. When you walk into the Kandapan Hotel, you can tell the staff love what they do. The friendly atmosphere and fast service is evident the moment you walk in the door. Jonesy and Winnie have been operating the Kandapan Hotel nearly four years, but it's the years experience the guys have in hospitality that stands out from the rest. Their wood oven pizzas make your mouth water, and the freshly baked onion bread is to die for. With a range of meals on the chef's menu, it's a choice whether during the week or straight after footy from 6 to 8 for dinner. Knaupam Hotel pride themselves on fresh salads, made on site, fresh, every day. Check out their Facebook page, click on the menu button and view what's hot in the chef's kitchen. With plenty of room for group functions or birthdays, make Knaupam a place to stay and relax at the Knaupam Hotel, your highway stop that hits the spot. Duke's Highway, Knaupam. Phone... 08-8571-1006. Drop in and get a tinny from Jonesy and Winnie. Is your home your office or your schoolyard, your gym? Is your home your local, your party venue, your studio or your headquarters? Change your home to suit your life. Don't miss your chance. Find your local real estate office. Around here, we love our Golden Grain. And we love our Golden Grain Hotel. Open from 11am seven days a week. And meals available every night. With theme nights four nights a week. Including burgers, pizza, steaks and Thursday nights a schnitzel night. Grab a feed for $15. Affordable for all the family. There's even a kids menu too. Locals or travellers just coming off the highway into the main street and find the Golden Grain Hotel. And shearers, farmers and spud farmers order your takeaway meals. Check the website for menus, meal specials, accommodation and upcoming events. Golden Grain Hotel, Pinaroo.com. Got a lot of empty bottles and cans cluttering up your garage or backyard? Load all of your empties in the car and get to Murray Bridge Recycling. They'll have you unloaded as quick as a speeding bullet, cashed up in a flash. With depots in Meningi and Strathalbyn too, turn those old bottles and cans into cash now. You can also assist with your waste recycling and document destruction services in the Murraylands, serving you for over 40 years. Murray Bridge Recycling, 55 Thomas Street, phone 08852. Two, 
Be who you want to be. Go where you want to go. It's your journey. Come on down to your local Dunlop Super Dealer and have a friendly chat because nobody knows local roads like us. Bridge Hotel, right in the heart of the creek. Drop in for a coldie after the game. Meals available, 70 Bridge Road, Langons Creek. Phone 0885 373 010. There is only one way to get your team top of the ladder. Bridge Aluminium. Manufacturing under the brand All Weld. Making platform ladders, orchid tripod ladders, tradie ladders and mezzanine ladders. They also manufacture vehicle canopies, ute trays, toolboxes and perform truck fitouts. Aluminium material sales. Their range is the best. Drop into 225 Adelaide Road, Murray Bridge. Email sales at bridgealuminium.com.au or phone 8532 5884. Bridge Aluminium. When it comes to ladders, they're the top team. Six and out, old mate. You mean window and out. Mum's gonna kill us. Mum's gonna kill you. No worries. I'll fix it fast. Who you gonna call? Bro Aluminium and Security. Specialising in windows any size. Security doors, Roller shutters, bathroom screens, fly screens, and general window repairs. Call Darren for a free measure and quote. Phone 0885 321 230. Or visit their showroom at 44 Old Princess Highway East Side, Murray Bridge. Row Aluminium and Security, where your security is our business. It's time to relax. Breathe in. Breathe out. That's the feeling you get from the Soul Deep Massage Clinic, specializing in relaxation, remedial massage, trigger point therapy, and reflexology. With on the spot health fund rebates available, phone 85310499. Refresh your mind, body, and soul with the Soul Deep Massage Clinic, 74 Adelaide Road, Murray Bridge. For over 40 years, Silver Fleece has been making cricket jumpers and vests for the Australian Test Team. You too can hit the field in your very own traditional cable knit jumper, custom designed with your logo and club colours. From their factory in Hindmarsh, Adelaide, Silver Fleece manufacture cricket jumpers and vests from 100% pure Australian wool. For an obligation free quote and design, give Greg a call on 08 8118 6099. Silver Fleece, 70 years strong, that's some innings. West End is proud to be a long-standing supporter of sport across all levels in South Australia. From a 68-year partnership with the SANFL, whose Premier's colours now adorn the top of the famous Brickworks kiln each year, to the Adelaide Footy League and Community Football, to the Adelaide Strikers, West End Redbacks and Premier Cricket and many other local sporting competitions and venues throughout the state, West End is synonymous with the sporting landscape and SA. West End, we're still here in the community, at your local and on the hill. Grieve Property and Project Solutions Proprietary Limited is an Australian owned and operated business. We strive to provide the highest level of service, quality and integrity and our clients are our priority. We're a business that has grown through word of mouth and repeat business and we are indebted to those clients who have assisted us in expanding to where we are today. We specialise in project management, consultancy, design, shop fitting, commercial fit out, defit and make good, commercial and residential construction and maintenance. Check our website www.grieveprojects.com.au or phone 0400 990 077. Our standard, if we can't provide a solution, we'll find someone who can. Meat at the Mount combines the years of home delivery with the passion and knowledge of your local butcher. Farming the Flurio since 1841 and it shows when you taste the quality of hand-picked meat and produce available. Meat at the Mount can deliver your meat, dairy, eggs, fruit and veg straight to your door. They've recently included Kangaroo Island rolled oats for those looking a healthy option on the cold mornings. Delivering to Adelaide, the Flurio, Mount Barker, Tuesday to Saturday. One time offer, order online at meatatthemount.com.au and use the code SOUTHERN22 to get 500 grams of mints in a stubby holder added to your order for a limited time. Meet at the Mount. Meet and more. Delivered fresh to your door. Summer is just around the corner. It's time to get your air conditioning sorted. Call the one-stop shop. Air diffusion agencies. Air conditioning components. Copper and fittings. Flexible duct. 
aluminium grills, spare parts and more. ADA are proudly family owned since 1989. Five big locations, Lonsdale, Salisbury, Darwin, Brisbane. Or see us at 99 to 109 Frederick Street, Welland. Phone 08 8116 3600. Serving you for over 30 years. Proudly supporting Southern Football League. It's funny how my car always gets left out in the sun. You know what I need? A new shed. From carports, sheds, verandas. No job is too big or too small. Industrial, domestic and commercial. From plans footings to shed instalment, he can even organise the concrete too. From the hills to Murray Land and out in the Mallee, from farm and rural sheds, commercial and industrial sheds, colourbond sheds, cyclone rated sheds, with over 15 years experience, call Wayne today for a free measure and quote. Don't muck it, call Wayne Luckett. 0417 852 032. Builders Licence 243 895. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the presentation for the Southern Football League A-grade grand final. First of all, could I thank South Adelaide for uh, putting on uh, the uh, oval for us today. Fantastic uh, to be able to play our grand final here at South Adelaide. Um, to uh, Malcolm and, and Kim for the work that they've done behind the scenes to make sure today's run uh, well has uh, also needs to be uh, uh, supported as well. To the two clubs, to Morphaval, to Michael Hamby and the Morphaval Football Club. What a fantastic effort uh, you did to get to the grand final. Unfortunately, there can only be one winner. But uh, please, the Morphaval Football Club, what a fantastic year they've had. So well done to Michael and the Morphaval Football Club. <laughs> of course, there can only be one winner. Um, and we'll get to that in a minute. Um, the Southern Football League do have a best on ground medal for the, um, every grade that plays in the grand final. And we've got uh, Tyler here to uh, present the uh, James Hector Warren medal to the best on ground. And uh, that was voted by the umpires and goes to Cam McCree. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to say thank you to everyone. SFL has put on a great day. Uh, thank you to Handles and all the Morphe boys. Put on a great game. Um, really came at us in the third quarter. Uh, well done to the boys. We fucking... <laughs> we stood strong. Um, yeah. Thank you. All right. I'll now call upon the uh, victorious... Coach Craig Austin to come forward. And call out, and call out his players to uh, receive their premiership medallions. Okay, firstly, I'd like to just thank Morpher Vale for a great contest. I'm glad you came back at us. Uh, put on a good spectacle. You came from fifth, so you battled it hard and, and did it the hard way. But a credit to you as you stuck in there and gave us a good run. To our boys, proud of every one of you and everyone's involved at Rinella at the moment. We're, we're, we're feeling good around the club and it's, uh, it's, it's a good thing for us going forward. We've done a lot of hard work. We had a lot of, lot of opportunities this year to, to win this and someone had to do it for us and we did it. So uh, for the A grade, well done. Yeah. Right, oh, first of all, I'd like to bring up Sammy Whitbread, our captain, for his medal. Standing captain, Kate Bradley Potter. Magic. Bradley Thompson. Yeah. <laughs> Liam Reed. Dylan Rosa. Nick McLean. Well, I'm on the Knicks. Nick Dixon. Well 
buddy. Boyd Austin. Josh Frisbee. Jason Legend Farrier. Another legend. Yeah. Angus Roundtree. Yeah. Gus. Great stuff. Barney Marshman. Yeah. Well done, Baz. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Robbie Era. Daniel Whitaker. Tommy Sherman. Well done, bud. Well done, Tommy. <laughs> Mark Borholm. Well done, champ. Hey, eh? how good was that? Thanks, Bomber, you've left your daughter behind. Who's missed out? Fizz. Fizza. Fizza. Well done, Fizz. Mitchy Scotland. Okay, the guy that started as our captain uh, got injured in the second round. He's been part of us ever since. Uh, it's a shame he missed out on this, but he's part of this team every way. So, Tyler Davies, yeah. crowd favourite. Well done, Chance. Brendan McKeo. Yeah. Shane Bradshaw. Steve Prescott. Brett Knowles. Bray Brett. David Delbridge. Come on. How many more we got? Four more. Okay. Who else we got? Trainers. Trainers. Bruce. Lucy, Maria, have we missed anyone else out the back? One train has got to miss out. Very lucky. Is that it? Is that one left, Dingo? I'll have it. I'll have it. If I have to. And of course, one for the coach. Uh, we'll call up uh, Sammy Whitbread, the uh, acting captain, and Tyler, the captain. It's just like his dad, just uh, runs through people. The Vigneron on shield to the premiers. Hang on, hang on, hang on. That one. <laughs> that one, you've got to put your name on and we want it back. But that one you can keep in the club room forever and a day. Plus the cup. And it's not complete unless you've got the flag. 
and make sure you sign the football for the coach. The Ronella Football Club, Premiers 2022.